didn't hear what you said. I'm laughing too hard, that's why. So the characters uh, have uh, gotten a long rest. They've made their way back down into the dungeon, this limestone dungeon that's damp and leaking and stinks, and it's been here for hundreds of years, and it's fallen apart. And uh, you guys have been exploring, and so far uh, you found uh, some doors that have symbols of the dead three gods on them. Uh, you have found a tapestry uh, that uh, had some yellow mold on it. Uh, at least uh, the poor tab tabaxi did. And uh, and I think that's where we're at. We're in this little chamber down here. And uh, let's see. You guys take it away. What do you guys want to do? Which direction do you want to go? Did we think there was anything worthwhile in there? Past the mold, or do we just want to fuck that? I think when that. the cat fell face into the muck is where you guys stop exploring for the moment. So let's not go that way. Um, let's uh, let's the, check one the of these doors. Mold, uh, cat. The yellow mold area has dispersed, so it is gone. Do we have reason to believe it would come back if we went in there again? Uh, you think uh, possibly disrupting the tapestry that it was growing on may cause it to flare up again? Okay. But other than that, you think if you stayed away yeah. from there, you'd be all right. I'll yell down the hall. Moon, like do you want to check out that pedestal? What's up? Go in there. Kalis will say, I am willing to go in there. Oh, I did you have a hold, picture hold for breath. you guys uh, f uh, from last week when you guys recovered... Uh, Chateau's under moon. Oh shit! He, 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 <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh my god! I'm leaving that up for the rest of the fucking stream. That's all. <laughs> look That's at what that. they look that like just... when you when you brought him back conscious. That can't be real, yet it is. I want to believe that is totally real. <laughs> All right, I'll hold my you. breath and go around the corner. Uh, this room, uh, so those are wooden beams that it's it's showing there. Those, hold on one second, super control button. Uh, and the, uh, let me open that up because you guys can't see it. So yeah, it turn it turns the corner, and uh, those are th those little brown squares are three wooden beams that hold up the ceiling, and in the corner that is an altar. Uh, the three wooden beams brace the ceiling of this flooded chamber, which features a stone altar covered with entrails in the northeast corner. Hanging on the wall above the altar is a three foot tall steel mask cast in the form of a frowning human skull. Hey, Shadows, uh, go touch it. Boren uh, is curious. Does he recognize this religious iconography at all? Uh, yes, it is the representation of Baal. B-H-A-A-L, -A 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 Baal. Oh, and guess oh. what I did? I went and found those images. Let me Let me look those up. How deep is the water? Too deep for me. Uh, two feet deep. And there is the symbol of ball. Nice guy, huh? And uh, that... Uh... Yeah, so the, the there's like is. flies and maggots on the entrails, and bzz, it stinks over here, and it's pretty nasty. But they Looks look somewhat fresh. fresh, pretty fresh. I mean, for entrails, they're kind of fresh. Moon, are you I'm on the look. wall? Yes. What do you see over there behind that altar? Or on it? I see entrails. All right, well, that's no good. I'm gonna look uh, down is that... 
Dinner. It's that mask right here, that like the the ball skull thing hanging above the altar. Yep. And uh, somebody said, "Touch it." I want to take a careful look at it, the whole altar. See if there's anything odd about it. Uh, well, you particularly think having a big pile of entrails on an altar is pretty odd. So you might have to be a little more specific. Uh, are you gonna like like tap on it and wiggle it and shake it, or are you gonna yeah. just look around it? I'm, I'm uh, gonna give me that big old out. investigation check in the. See if our thingy's working. So you tap on it, you kick it, you twist it, you you blow into it, you go ah ha ha ha, and it seems like an ordinary odd altar. That's all, just an altar. No secret apartments, no secret doors, no sliding shifty nothings. So as Chavis is looking down the hall there, he's going to turn Lauren. Are those human entrails? Uh, I don't know. I didn't taste them. Shadows? I didn't uh, taste them. I think I'll pass. Quick question. Uh, how dark is it down here? Um, if you didn't have any kind of light source, you couldn't see your hand in front of your face. I'll have dark vision. So, uh, you can see to the limit of your dark vision. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and cast, uh, Dimly. light on Osmerk's loot. Yes! He likes his loot lit. In that case, I'll come step up here and flash my loot. He was as a, is using his lantern as well. So are we able to tell from the size of these entrails? I mean, are they tiny like a cat's, or are they two inches around like uh, a human? After uh, examining them and going, yeah, these got to be either pig or people entrails. What about this mask hanging up here? So it's a mask of ball. Nothing special about it. Do you take it down and put it on? Oh, I thought it's three feet tall. I don't think I'd do that. You don't even think, you're not even quite sure you could take it down. It's, it looks pretty heavy. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm just looking behind it and stuff. Investigating. No, and you think whoever hung it could have used a couple of less freaking nails? I mean, they just went overboard. All right, then I'll do a uh, very finesse filled jump onto the altar and then over here into the water behind uh Chalice. All right, bring that picture back up. The cat got wet. <laughs> the cat got wet. <laughs> All right. So you guys uh peek around the corner over here. And uh floating right about there face down is a body. It looks a little puffy, like it's been in here, like in the water. It's like all, it's all gooey and floating and puffy. Floated floater. I wonder if he was uh, trying to make his way through here like the rest of us. Does it have its entrails? Good question. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell from behind Osmark and Boren down the hallway. I'm yelling at Boren since he's not moving. Is it dressed? I want to take a closer look at it. So you wade over to it, and as the water, like ripples of the body kind of starts to do the bob and it rolls over when you get up close to it and <laughs> its face is just like Bleh! and its eyes are hanging out and it stinks and a crab crawls out of its mouth oh my god and Disgusting. and it looks like a uh it looks like a human wearing uh he's shirtless he's uh looks like a guy he's got a beard um and uh you notice like the his back was covered in some kind of marking before he flipped over. 
but now uh, when you got up close to him, he flipped face up, so you you didn't get a good look at what was going on on his back. Wait a second, is he wearing pink socks? No, he's not. He actually uh, he's got uh, flip flops on that floated away. Damn flip flops! I was just making sure it wasn't one of the guys we we shoved down the sewer. Have <laughs> been he bag of donuts in person? <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's not those guys. He he looks like uh, he he looks like he actually. You're not sure. Is somebody going to go like uh, a, like really examine him? Like yeah, like Boren up is. close. Yeah, Boren will <laughs> do a good close to, per, uh, um, look at him. Token. I don't want to touch him though. Yeah, that's what I mean. Is you're gonna? I mean, just perusing. That's about all you can see. I'll flip he said he was over the quarter staff. So we can right, see back. Bowed. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> Give me an acrobatics check, there, Mister uh, Chateau's Under Moon. Let's see how good you can flip something with a stick. Hey, that's pretty damn good. You like whoosh, flips him right over. So now you see his back, and there's all kinds of marks on his back. They're all like purpley and like brownish color all over the place. Some kind of wounds. All right, fuck this. Shillelagh on the stick, hit him over the head. So uh, as you bust open his skull, it was kind of soft. It kind of just goes and bust like a cantaloupe and brain matter goes and kind of lands oh. in bits and pieces around and the odor just kind of comes billowing out that's been festering inside this body and swelling up as he goes and methane gas just blows in your face <laughs> uh, and, and he doesn't twitch he doesn't even twitch yeah <laughs> fought All right, move. moving along <laughs> was that um was that sirenscape yeah yeah <laughs> the farting oh so shit. are we able to tell what made the wounds and has he been disemboweled uh he has not been disemboweled and the wounds were made by a dc wisdom medicine check there Kalis, please sir we don't need that kind of music. Is this music oh, down God. here in the sewer? What's going on? <laughs> right? Bard just breaks out his loot. Chalice, clearly the wound was made by a club. <laughs> uh, no, he says these were made by a six-inch long serrated knife. He was stabbed multiple times in the back, causing his heart to quit beating. Uh, oh, a suicide. <laughs> <laughs> Stabbed multiple times in the back. Yeah. What's and is there anything in this corner? Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's like like where the cavern has started to cave in and collapse a little bit. It, lo it looks like the wall is kind of weak over there. And as you get closer to it, the waves kind of ripple and splash against the limestone and a couple of bigger pieces go and fall in the water in front of you. All right, and there's nothing over here where Osmark is that's of interest, yeah. Osmark, oh, you got the light source, don't you? I have As you a... come around the corner, give me a perception check in the dice tower, please. All right, perception check. All I really have to do is just double-click it. That's Excellent. It. Yeah, so you, you, as you come in, you can see that part of the wall has, like, the plaster looks pretty crappy. Like it doesn't match and it's like in one little section. So you think it might be a secret door. I, I investigate that. Oh, well, okay. So now we know. All right. So then I say, Hey, here's a way to go back the other way. I say we get the hell out of here and go back over here. Yes. Yeah. You guys just got in there. Yeah. You could go back that way or go back the other yeah, way yeah no i say we just go ignore that and go back over here i agree either which way you go same thing's gonna happen nothing 
All right, so you guys get back to this room. Let me remind you what this room looked like. Well, let me uh, ask these guys, did you say out loud that you found like that secret door or whatever? Did you tell Shadows that? Because he might be a little freaked out about that. Well, you turn around and everyone walked off and you're standing in the hallway oh, yeah, by no, yourself. I, I would have said, freaked yeah, out. I, I would have said, let's go back. I would You would have heard me. Leave the cat. Leave the Except cat. the cat. The cat's got to stay. Starting to smell. So yeah, there's uh, three doors. Each of the doors has a a face or a symbol carved into it. One of Bane, one of Ball, and one of Merkel. Uh huh. And what was the door we came through? Uh, that was the north door, right? Uh, Ball. Sorry about that. The so, north door is Ball, the east door is Bane, and the south door is Merkel. South. These are wooden doors, and they look kind of flimsy, and like they've been dry rotting down here for a while. So they don't look used recently. Hmm. No, I didn't say that. Okay. Is this door locked? Check his it is, is it locked. It is not. Do it. I'm going to open the door. I'm assuming the south door, right? Since yeah. that's the one in your front of. Merkel. All right, so you open the south door. And lying on the floor of this otherwise empty room are the pale bodies of three humans in filthy black robes. Fucking dead people. Uh, the bodies have been ar arranged in a triangular formation, and a lit torch lies between them. A rough hewn staircase to the left leads down to another torch lit chamber. And Nothing hold on one easy. second. <laughs> As you guys need to roll initiative. That's right. <laughs> I like to go to the bottom. Oh my god, I'm ahead of Boren. Boren's nearly always last. So uh, those bodies laying on the floor were not bodies, but they were people pretending to be bodies. As these three guys stand up and attack. Shadows under moon, you get to go first. What are you going to do? Well, I can't see him. Oh, yeah, I should uh, turn those on, right? Oh, that would. Oh, shit. Hmm. Necromite, well, he huh? probably got a. <laughs> yeah. Um. I guess uh, this one beside me's got my name on it. There we go. All right. Uh, I am going to strike with my quarter staff. So you fling it around and you whack this guy right upside his shoulder. And well, uh, uh, he, he looks at you hideously. <sighs> and I'll, me I'll immediately follow that up with an unarmed strike using my martial arts. And you turn around, and you kick him upside the head, pop! He chin pop. goes to the side and he's like, what? And he looks, he stumbles back and you look and his jaws are broken and he's bleeding out of his eye. His ear is ripped off part of it. And he's like, ah. and he, and his friend steps up to you. Hi. Pulls out his skull flail and swings it at you. 
and he totally misses. He hits the limestone wall next to you. <laughs> Sticks in a little. He's got to wedge it out. Wait a minute. His name's Han Hyun Leotard. Yeah, he's got it on. You can see it under his robes, too. It's kind of nice. You got a purdy mouth. Now take the those one you smack. Right he's also going to pull out his skull. He takes a swing at you and he connects. Bop! He hits you upside the head as you're dodging the other guy. Just a little bit of damage, though. Just grazes you like you got your fur and piece of skin. Whew. You're like, meow. <laughs> this guy eyeballs Kalis as he gets up and swings his skull at Kalis. Little help here, party, you low rolling fuckers. <laughs> Nails him. Catches him in the kneecap. Bop! As he's standing up. Kalis hops on, on one leg. Ow, 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 ow. Eric with a K, you're like, the door kind of swings shut a little bit. So you're like, you can catch all the full action, you know? You're like, crap. Yeah, be like, um, you're like, crap. Uh, screw this. Um, just he's just gonna like kind of like back up near Osmark real quick and just suddenly, you know, like as he starts running forward, he's just gonna morph into a dinosaur. Everybody's like, "What the? A dinosaur?" Yeah. I don't think anyone's here seen. Raise your hand if you've seen a dinosaur in your life. Your character. I'm raising my hand. He went right. Oh, right, right. Uh, uh, until today. Oh. So I. I yeah, not till today. Oh, so, that's one of them little ankle biter dinosaurs that eventually evolved into a chihuahua. Yes. So go ahead and throw a claw at Hideous. Oh, that connects. So you're like, you get a hold of him in the chest, and he goes down, and you just grab a hold yeah. of him and shake him with your bite. I'm going to go ahead and uh, claw at the guy that, uh, that mangled eyes because he's looking at me weird. So you spin around, oh. you slip on something underneath. <laughs> you slip on something underneath and, and as you go to fall, you like stick your claws right into your leg uh, and you crit yourself. What the so fuck? You Ow. Hit on yourself. Uh, that's shift, right? Yeah. But you also should have said, uh, and, and go ahead and roll that, roll that hit, uh, that damage no, on the it on, target Just as drag well. it on the NPC. It's the same hit, right? Uh, which one was it? It says you crit yourself and the thing, so just drag that eight damage onto the monster. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember which one he was attacking. Uh, mangled eyes looks like hideous. Yeah, he yeah, said mangled eyes. eyes. No, hideous is dead. You should dig him out. Now they're both dead. Now they're both can be. Uh, well, no, you double damaged him. I already so, had... Yeah, he he already did it. So... Yeah, I already applied it to him. So he should have five hit points. That the one that you out. He he drowns. Okay. Yeah, because <laughs> because it, I know why. Because it's too much of a pain in the ass to undo that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he drowned. All right, so he drowned. Um, so I'll just kind of. He like steps on him and it. holds him down until he drowns. There you go. Yes, and I'll just kind of peck real quick at Han Son Leotard. Ah, uh, that's a hit. And that's it. That's it. I only get three attacks, kill three guy, uh, two, two and a half guys. That's all I can do, though. That's it. I'm sorry, guys. I tried. I One tried. click druid, though. One click druid. Didn't have to do nothing. Kalis. So would I know that this is Eric with a K? Yeah, that's what that Well, too. it's I'm not attacking you, and it just killed the bad guys. Um, you think it has something to do with Eric with a K? You're not necessarily sure if it's him or not, or if he somehow can like call a dinosaur to come out of his butt like a butt monkey. Uh, you don't know. All right, so I'm going to take my time. You don't see Mother. the druid, though. 
mumbles an uh, elvish phrase and shoot at the hand sewn leotard. And that's a miss. Don't like this dinosaur. All right. Osmerk is going to come right down here. And then... First level Thunder Wave. I'm just kidding. That's a joke. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am going to look at that uh, monster. Cross-dressing monster. And I'm going to look him right in the face. And I'm going to say... Mama is so mean. Her name is the verbal component for power word kill. It could have been better than that. And then it, he doesn't. He thinks my delivery was bad, too. He's like, huh? How do you know my mom? Jokes were funnier when I was making it. <laughs> All right. Boren is going to swing his warhammer at him. Ah, uh, that's a hit. So the dino grabs him and you like smash him in the skull with your warhammer and he goes down. Apparently the the awesome. the uh, token thing's working, the the dead death thing. Oh, no no errors yet. All right, level up. So three dead bodies. Let's check three one. Do you see anything? Excuse me, three unconscious bodies. No, one's oh, yes. drowned. Let's ask him the questions. What, what questions do you have to ask? Uh, I'm I not thought a question as asker. <laughs> Search Boring, the body for loose anything? change. Uh, I don't know. Do, I uh, something down do you guys place? do you guys loot them? Oh, we're gonna, yeah. You better sure, loot them. Search them. them. Oh, let's see. Did DM do his due diligence? Get off my pen, there, dinosaur. A full uh, body cavity search all around. I did look at that. I got the uh, I got the parcel all ready to go. Thanks, Vex. I'll go ahead and like kind of like rub up against Chalus real quick, and uh, he, he'll suddenly feel better by using my healing hands and uh, giving him to uh, or healing, I guess, rub. Uh, kind of groping him with for two hits. You points. have little hands. You, you have little hands. With, uh... You. Have... You can do that in form? That's awesome. It's touch. <laughs> you can't cast spells. You can't cast in form. spells while you're in form, though. Yeah, it's, it's a racial verbal... ability. Is there. Oh. oh. Nice. I'll sort of back oh, away yeah. from it. And... Healing hands, it's a racial ability. Yeah, he's an angel. All right. Only the yeah, DM oh, can sorry. see that. So, does Boren see anything down the stairs? Wait, you guys are gathering up stuffs that these guys had. It's in the party sheet. Uh. Foolish jar. What the fuck does that do? Mmm. It becomes ghoulish. Ooh, a smoking pipe that never needs lit. Potion of greater healing, hello. All right, we keep that. All right, is there anything down the way where Boren can see? Matter of fact, I'll come down and see if I see. Oh uh, yeah, let me uh, open that up for you. Whoa! Uh, this chamber has partially collapsed around a stone sarcophagi that was open. That is open. So it's like soft and mushy in there from the clay and the limestone that's collapsed. But uh, you can see the sarcophagi has open. Um, who's right there in the front? Boring, Born. give me a perception. Boring's like, I don't at. see none. Oh, great. Born, you don't see anything? Go, go, go down there. Yeah, I'm gonna head down in. I also want to take a look at 
um, with my background history in in stonework, does this place look like relatively stable? It's not going to collapse on us. Uh, there are areas that you think could collapse if provoked. No and thunder you think, uh, You've seen a couple of beams. You think if you took a swift, uh, couple of swift axe chops on a beam, you could get the ceiling come down. Oh, that's good to know. If something comes out, we can uh, bury it here. I want to get up and take a closer look. All right, as you get up closer and start uh, looking around, give me an investigation check, please, sir. Okay. Very good. You find uh, where somebody has, like, buried a little, like, a, a nice little box, like a wooden box. Well, like a briefcase size box. And you kind of pull it out and open it up. And inside of it are three books. Uh, one of them is bound in red leather. Red leather. Uh, the other one is a uh, leather, um, like a umber uh, cover. And uh, there's a symbol burned into the face of it. And then the third one is like a scaly black reptilial hide cover. Nice, heavy, bound books. It's a book about dinosaurs. Dino book. Uh, I want to peruse them. Do they look like spell books, or do they just uh, look like books with religious text, or... Something Which else? one are you perusing first? One, two, or three? Please pick uh, a four. One. One. Uh, so uh, you like creep it open, and yeah, it looks like a spell book to you. Uh, oh, it's all right, cool. arcane stuff in it, and you're like, mm, arcana. Yeah, that's useless. Uh, I'm about number two. Is there any pictures in it? Uh, you open number two, you're like, and it opens okay, and you're like, huh, it didn't blow up. It is also a spell book. Okay. Behind door number three. And that also is a spell book. It doesn't blow up. None of them are trapped, fortunately for you. Hey, maybe we can sell these on the black market or something. Put them in the pack. Yeah, we'll put them in the pack. I have put them in the party sheet. So let's go ahead and uh, finish doing the party sheet. Um, empty it, and then I'll uh, delete the stuff that you're not carrying around with you. So whoever's carrying those spell books needs to put them on their character sheet is what I'm getting at. I can take them if no one else wants yeah. to. Well, I yeah. just don't have much. If we're, if we're using encumbrance rules, there's not much I can carry. These little arms can't hold much. Skinny Us Mark is the reader, man. You read I've got books, don't you? Uh, not spell books. I thought he just read sheet music. I know. I'm no. I'm no wizard. All right, so you guys uh, looted the hidden treasure, and now where are you going? Obviously, you can go this. <laughs> I'd say uh, let's go ahead and go that way. Hmm. Try the door. Uh, the door opens freely. I'll be going through that door. And you can Creeping. see down it goes uh it goes down like down and then it goes down again and you can see some more stanky water up ahead uh when you get right about there uh you hear a voice coming from further ahead shh, 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 shh. listen 
can we can we perceive what it says uh it's pretty far off and then they're kind of whispering not hey. whispering but being quiet yeah you think it yeah actually they yes because you do hear another voice and a laugh <laughs> Uh, I'll stealth forward and take a peek around the corner. All right, give me your, give me, give me your stealth check in the dice tower. Go ahead, Eric, with a K. Eric with a K will follow closely behind him, also trying to be as quiet as possible. So, like, the Fred Flintstone little, diddle 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 and then you can give me that <laughs> roll in the <laughs> dice tower, too. <laughs> Did that roll? Is everybody else staying put, or are they continuing to move up as well? I think we'll wait till our scouts come back with information. That's not what we wanted. I tried to play the I tried to play the Fred Flintstone because it's I know exactly what you're talking about. But so didn't... you see another wooden another wooden beam there. I will fight the urge to go over and scratch on it for a while <laughs> I don't see any and people you're though peeking, you're peeking around the corner yeah I'm trying to talk and 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 push buttons and hold control and blah blah the voices sound like they're coming from your right up those stairs that you can just make out the corner of. And uh, Rob goes kersplash into the water and let's roll initiative. Mm -hmm. Osmark steps down into the water and makes some noise. This f eastern part of this room is unlit, flooded and braced with floor to ceiling wooden beams. Rough hewn steps rise out of the murky water to the western portion of the room, which is dry and lit by two torches. Uh, they are in sconces and they flank a stone altar. Shackled to the wall behind the altar is a sickly man in a loincloth with a burlap sack over his head. An alcove to the north wall contains a freestanding suit of plate armor that's missing its helm. And standing before the altar are two grim figures. Uh, a powerfully built woman clutching a mace and an even bigger man wearing a bucket helm. The helm man is jabbing the prisoner with a spear, causing him to twitch. Both figures are clad in chainmail and the wo woman carries a wooden shield with a leering skull painted on it. And one of them says, Did you hear that? Ooh, a light source. Intruders. And the guy's like, Ooh, fun. <laughs> she says, Let's push Ooh, really a light crap. source. Well, you, you do have like your flute is glowing yeah, with a light, I right? I totally do. Also, I'm splashing. Yes, splashing. Shadows under moon, you get to go first. What are you going to do? First thing I'm going to do is look at Osmer and go, man, this sneaking thing, it doesn't work if you splash in the water. Huh? Oh, I got, I, I made some huh? tokens, so. <laughs> Um, I'd like to move, uh, you going to lock tokens? Black gauntlet, something. A bane. All right, um. Uh, Moving along the wall, I'd like to try to get to there and hide. <clears throat> uh, no, no. <laughs> you you will be in plain sight and in lit light, so I, I don't see okay. how you could possibly. Hi I mean, you could hide maybe from one of them, but not both of them. Hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think I think it's about to get real, so I might as well just. Uh, and I think I'll use Trudge my out tabaxi in the middle. agility. Yeah, I'm gonna use my tabaxi agility to get right here. So this cat does like the Jesus Christ across the water, like <laughs> runs up the stairs and does what? Uh, that's where, what we're going to call it from now on the Jesus Christ across the water. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to try to hit, uh, the big lady with the shield with my, uh, quarter staff. Yeah. Quarter staff. Hit her, All right. Well, I'm going to give you a, a plus two to hit her. Uh, oh because gosh. she doesn't have her shield up and, and ready yet. You kind of, you kind of jumped her. Okay. She's, she's got it, but she's doesn't, she doesn't have it handy yet it's not locked in so go ahead and get a plus two to hit and a 19 plus eight is that's going to be a 27 to hit that's nice so you claw her in the back of the neck before she can even turn around like meow she, ah, and it, she hisses yes that hurts i like it uh let oh, me slap shit. let me slap the bitch just for that so you Punch her claws. right dead, and she turns around. You just like grab her by the face and twist, and uh, you get uh, standard critical damage. And you may take an extra bonus action or one extra move action this turn. Uh, disengage. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, disengage would be an action. Oh, a oh bonus you're a action. rogue. You have cunning. You have, no, not you have yet. Cunning. Not yet. That's a uh, second level. Uh, second no, level. you know what? Let's. Well, he's I'm only one level. one. Oh, I'm right. one one man. Yeah, one one. Uh, so I can take another complete action to attack them, right? Uh, no, you get a you get a bonus action or an extra move action this turn. It's the offhand attack. Uh, yeah, offhand attack. No. Why would you? Oh, because you get a. Why would you get an yeah. offhand attack? Because that's I use monk. my martial arts as a bonus action. Anytime I use a monk weapon or. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. as a bonus action, yeah. Okay, cool. Yep, and. Uh, but you missed. Yeah, and I'll step to there. And that's all right. Done. So this, yeah. So the guy you stepped up in front of is 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 a hulking guy. He's like, but it's not his turn because the guy on the wall gets to go and he goes, oh. that's all he does. Osmark. <laughs> all right. Osmark comes down to here and he looks at this Kazira and he fumbles under his breath. I see a little tune. And you take damage. Oh, yeah. yeah. Damn. Man. It's a hell of a song. Okay, well, it's like so, like, my move. she, like, falls over as blood's dripping out of her eyes and face. She's like, no, the voice has. <laughs> and she falls over. Kalis. I like to hold my move until after Born. Can't do that in 5e. You can hold his junk and ready something. <laughs> you can do that. Ready is in the action. Burns up your turn. All right, then I'm going to double move. That's Sorry, one move. I... And then I'm going yeah, to move again. Is... And that is all. Eric all with right. a K. You're like, doodly 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 doodly, as Osmar goes running past you. Splash, splash. <laughs> Ooh, voices. And he runs in and casts a spell. You hear bodies fall. And you're still trying to be quiet. But you're like, screw this. Fuck this shit. Um, so can I, uh, I guess, what's the rule? Can I? Am I able to clip these corners or do I have to run square? Uh... What do you mean clip corners? 
Oh no, you can't go diagonal. No, you have to enter the square. Yeah, you have to. You have to round the corner. You can't clip up. Exactly. I was kind of run up here and all kind of like, what's going on? Uh, yeah, the guy hanging on the wall goes, ow. All right, and then I'll go ahead and make a double move and just kind of run back near Osmark. Be like, ah, oh, oh. and that's it. All right, Boren is going to move to here, and then he is going to uh, Sacred Flame Yignath. Is that a range or just a line of sight? Uh, it's a creature that you can see within range. Perfect. 60. Yeah, you're good. As long as I can see it, I should be good. And he fails. And he gets sacred feigned. Oh, it's his turn. Oh, let's see what this guy gets to do on his dying attack. I'm sure this is his dying round, maybe. Uh, tactical discipline. Hmm. Multi-attack. We like that. So he's got a spear, which he's going to use on who's that right there hey look a wet cat let's use our spear on it give him the puss in boots eyes his reaction and uh he misses but he spins back around with it again oh i take that back you can't do that uh, he uses his voice of command and commands the female that's bleeding out on the floor down there to use her reaction as a melee attack. And she goes, because she can't. And he and she is done. She, she just fades off into darkness, into unconsciousness. Shadows under moon. It's your turn again. Oh, perfect. And I'll straddle her leave my scent as I whack this guy. Like step on her head. And uh, we'll try to pop him in the jaw here with quarterstaff. Uh, jaw succeededly popped. You and bust him in the bottom, a couple of teeth come flying out. And I miss with the unarmed strike. He come back around and he like blocks push you punch him in the forearm doesn't do any damage that's magic word drop oh spoke too soon uh the guy hanging on the wall he goes oh this is Osmer. what the dead lady said <laughs> all right i will look at that yignath and I will yell out, Hey, Yignath, your mama's so fat, even Bolo can't explore her. Damn. <laughs> then I will press this button. That's fucking fucked. That's the problem with it. It's all or nothing. Kalis. Yeah, all cantrips are like that. I'm going to embrace myself. Heroes against this wooden beam. Breathe out, shoot my longbow. Nice hit. Whap! Sinks into his rib cage. Oh, he flinches from that. But he looks mad now. Dano's gonna do what Dano does. Go get her, Ray. Wow. Gonna charge in and just start going to town. Just like uh Rob's prom date. Alright, um <laughs> so attack number. I don't know that you used that right, but it's still funny. No, I didn't. <laughs> uh that's a miss. 
claw number two. Ah, you connect, so you get him in the like in the shin. He's like, ow! Sinks in. Uh, so how do you rule on the Danonicus thing? Uh, is it either of the claws or just one? Uh, what's the rule say? For the the prone. If you hit with a, an attack, he goes prone, or do you have to hit with both attacks? 20 foot straight and succeed in a claw attack on the same turn. Uh, target must succeed. Wow. One. Uh, I would say you get two chances then. <laughs> yeah, so you get then two. Save. Yeah. Well, you got to knock him prone to get the bite, though, right? And he does fall prone, so go ahead and bite away. Well, I get a, I get one bite no matter what. My second bite is determined if he's prone or not. So first so you bite. Get, so you get four attacks as a second level creature. Possibly. Wow. Yes. yes. <laughs> so bite number one. Broken. This is a mess. Bite number two. Ah, oh, so you bite him in the throat. You're like. <laughs> pulling on it but he's like clinches his fist closed and he still laying on the ground Boren alright Boren is going to run up here and uh, take a swipe at him on the ground All right. comes running up jumps up the stairs with his what is it a hammer hammer and two hand it comes swinging down and misses him as he rolls out of the way <laughs> And he gets up, and he looks over this dinosaur, and he says, You're my victim now. Remove prone. Big well, time. I hit anyways. Oh, okay. <laughs> Could have been a crit? You don't know. And two points of damage. And that's it. That's all he's got. Wah, wah. Shadows under moon. Blue. All right. Well, he stood back up. Uh, so if he's that big, I'll try to whack him in the nads with my quarter staff. But that's a miss. You so, think he might be a Balchinian? Uh, I, might, I might just. Uh, a Balchinian. <laughs> a Balchinian. <laughs> uh, try the unarmed strike uh, then against the nads. Nope. That's a hit. He's not a Balchinian. That's, uh, that's a hit. I said nope. He's right. not a Balchinian. Oh, oh, okay. All I focus so, on is the nope. Let me ask you guys a question. So, does sneak attack work only on your main action, or does it work on a bonus action attack if you hit? Once per uh, bonus action if you hit it's once okay. per turn That's very good turn. so he's within five feet of an associate of mine associate. an associate is that what mine. it says in the player's handbook if you have an associate close to the player uh, no, <laughs> that's amazing I think it says ally yeah oh snap as you connect with his scrotum and he goes down oh, and you knock him out he falls over unconscious all right plural of scrotum is scroti scroti is that a ccr uh, song <laughs> stuck in a scroti i was just talking shit i don't know what is the plural of scrotum scrotums now i gotta look it up I don't know, it means two or more. I'd rather not think about it. <laughs> what do I see down this way? Uh, let me open that up for you. Boren's interested in this plate mail that uh, is in that alcove. That looked like something he could uh, take. Dude's got a bucket helm on, too. So uh, it looks like it's, I mean, just glancing at it, it looks like it might be welded together. 
Ah. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. It's scrotum? It's, it's scrotum. I mean, do you start, like, like oh, touching yeah, and pull, feeling it? Yeah. So you, like, off so it. you go, so you like, hey, it doesn't look like these gauntlets are attached, and you go to pull one, and it animates, and they attack. Uh, roll initiative. <laughs> what? What? Eric with a K, you're like, uh, what's over here? I wonder. And uh, you hear some commotion behind you, and the dwarf's like, uh oh. I will spin around and fling a claw. Like, ram. Oh, I was startled, so go ahead, go ahead and fling a second claw. I'm gonna go ahead and peck at it because I'm just still just like way just not knowing what's going on. It looks like then you're I'm chasing go a ahead fly and... around. You're like a chihuahua <laughs> chasing a fly around. I'm just gonna hang my head in shame and just uh, go ahead and, as a bonus action, spend a spell slot and heal myself once. Where the fuck is Shadows Under Moon? I'm under the sword. Oh, oh, you're under the. Oh yeah, okay, I got gotcha. under gotcha. carved. Also, uh, just so you know, I looked at the options. Uh, Drake has shift plus click to do token stack resolution. So, if you plan to move your character, just remember okay. to hit shift. And pause for just a second. Uh, so the carved one that's uh, buzzing over shadows of the moon swoops down on him and tries to attack him. Oh shit, what is this? Well, I usually drop on the token, so let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm just reading what it can do real quick. Sorry, guys. So, yeah, it's going to try to punch you with its gun. And it hits. Ouch. Did it punch him in the scrotum? There's no damage coded. What the heck? Zacchaeus. It was more of a light caress and not a punch. <laughs> yeah, but he can only Fuck. scratch me so many times before I get mad about it. Only pet me once or twice. All right, sorry, I had to pull up the uh, NPC. Here it is, damn it. Uh, two points as it punches you. I know that wasn't punch damage, but we'll pretend it was. It works. When it's done, the guy hanging on the wall says, ow. And the other gauntlet is going to attack Boren. And it misses. Swing and a miss. Osmark, there's some commotion from behind you. You're like, what? What, what's going on? I'm supposed to be the one making noise. All right. Uh, as a bonus action, I'm going to give Shadows Under Moon Bardic Inspiration. Bam. Oh, I feel so good. And then for my attack, I shall move in. Do some scimitar action on these fucking bitches. You come wading up. <laughs> And you wait miss? till I start talking about your mama, you fucking flying god. They don't have moms. <laughs> okay. I'll try to whack this thing with the uh, with my big stick. You hit it. 
And uh, so he's within five feet of a uh, an associate of mine. An associate of mine. Wow, good damage. And uh, boy, I'm gonna try to smack it with my hand. So you chop the gauntlet with the with your hand. I don't know, you shake its hand, you're like, wah, 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 slam it to the ground. And it busts just... into a bunch of pieces. The dwarf's like, I was going to wear those. Ew. I'll just go ahead and step this other two and a half feet over this direction. Because it's freaking me out that I'm not on a square. All right. Kalis, you're like turning, going, if it didn't go around the corner, you're like, uh mid stride you turn around and look and they're fighting some gauntlets I right, look to the south real quick and make sure nothing's coming up that way uh yeah let me open that how is for you. how is uh mr jasso attached to the wall manacles i consider the scene that old guy swinging in the but... You're going to try to shoot his manacles? But I think better of it. And I, uh, you think you I'll, might I'll be able to hit his manacles, but... I'm just going to hold my action if I see anything else. I will shoot it. Anything else um, that is a, a danger to us, I'm going to shoot it with my bow. Alright, go ahead and play and the I'm ready going to action use to my... yourself. I'm going to use my bonus action to second win. A little love for yourself. You know, it's possible that that this guy just forgot the safe word. Does he have a gag ball in his mouth? <laughs> oh, he does not. He keeps saying, ow. All right, hey, Boren is weird. Boren is going to uh, Warhammer this gauntlet, pound it back into shape. Oh, snap! That's uh, a standard critical, and it doesn't go down. Damn. Eric with a K. Feeling so disappointed about last time. We'll continue to uh, frustratingly flail at this gauntlet. Have at thee! Have at thee! <laughs> Claw number two! Ah! <laughs> And go ahead and take your bite, because that's just a standard fumble. Claw. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, that that was my bad, bad. Reverse that, reverse that. Reverse that. Oh, that's a lot of reversing. No, you just... <laughs> Here, here's the regular bite. Yeah. It's so okay, now I'm just fucking everything out. You know what? I'll just pass my yeah, turn. you can't attack an <laughs> unconscious thing because it's a... Uh, uh, yeah. I, I messed that up. Just my bad. Uh, so you dinoed him to death because he was going to die anyways. Yeah. So he's dead. Uh, actually, he's unconscious. Sorry. And the guy hanging on the wall says, ow. And that's the end of the encounter. All right. Level up. Sorry. <laughs> Warren wants uh, to go provide first aid to Clem. Clem. Eric will kind of sneak down these uh, little path down here and look around the corner. Osmark looks over right. at the moon and says, you got nine minutes and 54 seconds to use that inspiration I gave you. <laughs> uh, Clem is unconscious. What? Wait, hold on one second. The prisoner he hanging saying on the wall is Clem. Uh... 
Oh, he's not unconscious. He has one hit point. You know that that's not that's not a. You know what Clem is, right? Does everybody know what Clem is? I had a friend named Milk. He went by Milk, but his real name was Clem. It was just Milk backwards. Hmm. I'm going to look so, around the corner, and if uh, Kalos doesn't see anything, he's going to come back. Uh, you see that it kind of turns the corner, and you can't see any further. However, Eric with a K, does Eric with a K have Eric with a dark vision as a L dino? It's a dino. I do not think so. So it's dark. I'm seeing uh, light from uh, Osmerk, so that's pretty much all I see. <laughs> so the guy hanging on the wall kind of raises his head up, and uh, he says, "Are they dead? Did you kill both of those bastards?" Thank the Lord. I think my circulation is cut off on my hands and feet all right i'm gonna go a step up to him and i'm gonna give him a cure wounds a wedgie yeah i'm gonna cure wounds on his scrota gonna massage it better and say i hope you uh feel better we want to try to help I'm teabagging him, according to the tokens. <laughs> He's like, oh, I feel I feel better now. If you could just get me out of these manacles, um, I think one of them has a key. All right, we should search for the key then. Chalice is standing over Yon T, so he'll search him. Hanging from Yignath's belt is an iron key ring with several keys. One for the shackles above the altar. So I'll and shadows the key ring. Some other ones. So you unsecure this guy from the wall, and he's kind of weak, but he kind of stands himself up, cleans himself off, brushes himself, and says, Thank you, strangers. Oh, God. I, uh, oh, Jesus. The mayor from The Wire? <laughs> is that who that is? I'm not is that who that is? Yeah, I know it's Littlefinger, but I wanted him to win uh, Game of Thrones, but he did not. Is that who that is? I just grabbed somebody out of my collection. Yeah, he's also uh, in Peaky Blinders. He plays Gypsy in Peaky Blinders. He's in a he lot of stuff, actually. Show. He was, the, he was yeah. Queen's manager in Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Uh so yeah, we unshack Liam. He looks happy. Hi, dude. Did you get my whisper, Drake? I did. I'm working on that. All right. Eric, uh, pretty much realizing that the light is not going to get any closer to him, we'll just kind of move back and step around the corner. Just staying ready. So, as you guys are um, talking to this guy, you find out his name is Clem Jasso, and he is a noble from the upper city, the Jasso families. Uh, Osmark, your character would recognize that name anyways. You probably don't know him, but you know his family name for sure, Jasso. J H A S S O. We should take this dude out. Take him, take him back to his uh, his place. Maybe they'll reward us. Or keep him here and send a letter and say if you dad. reward us, <laughs> we'll release him.
Does uh, Yang just have anything else on him? Um, and as we're like, you guys are talking to him, like the center of the room kind of churns and boils as you see the water kind of go and circle around in the middle. And then a huge head comes up out of the water. Oh! A giant constrictor snake comes out of the ground, out of the water, and looks mad. <laughs> Initiative. Damn. Everyone can thank Shadzar in the chat for this giant constrictor snake. <laughs> Shadow's under the moon sleeping. <laughs> thank you, Shad. <laughs> Extra XP. All right, am I first? Did everybody roll? Holy shit. Yes. Osmark, you are first. All right, I am going to... Um... I'm going to run right up to this corner. No, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. All right, just... Whoops, I shifted, and then it was my token, and then it was his token. Uh, I am instead going to fairy fire him without hitting anybody else. So let's just try that. Yeah. Nice. Oh, right. That's nice. That's my turn. I will move down here though to get. As I'm digging through this guy's pouches, I see this snake. And I'll call out shadows behind you. And I will shoot the snake. Oh, purple glowy snakes. Yeah. Yay. My advantage? Because it's fairy fired. Oh, yeah, der. Der. And it looks like it almost goes through the, the dinosaur. The dinosaur looking a little bit shocked will kind of like back up a little bit. Uh, tokens aren't locked, by the way. Yeah, they are. You just missed it. Okay. Uh, my bad. <laughs> uh, and then I'll go ahead and uh, kind of rub my butt up against this Clem guy and charge forward 20 feet. Just because. Because it's effective. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, then I'll go ahead and do my first claw. Yeah. Another hit. Uh, he succeeded, so he didn't uh, go down like Rob's prone to. Oh. Attacking second time yeah, you're for not using that right. <laughs> I know. So you, <laughs> so you claw him in the eye, and you blind him. Ige gow. Ige nice. Gow. It was an Ige gow. An Ige gow. It was a gow. <laughs> was a gow. That's carny speak, man. <laughs> and bite. Yeah. Well, it sounds like the beginning of a Steve Miller song. It does. The Joker. I don't know if it's the Joker. It's one of those. So it lurches back with its blindness, and it smells around and smells dino meat in front of it. And it's going to attack you. Uh, let's see. It's going to try to bite you. And it connects. Boff! Wow! Ow. Ten points of damage. Ow. And let's see. Did, 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 did. And... Uh, did we just lose Drake? 
Did we? No, he's here. Yeah, I think so. No, recovering lost connection. Oh, I see. I see uh, him in Discord though. Here he's back. He's back. Okay, yeah, he's back. Yeah, my I froze, but uh, yeah, he gets grappled by the uh, by the snake, and it starts to coil around him. And no big deal. That's all I can do, Boren. All right, Boren is going to move over there, and then he is going to slap this constrictor snake and use inflict wounds. Forgot to hold shift when you did the second part of that. Yeah, I realized. I tried to approve Matakiri's movement, but I couldn't. I can't either. I'm clicking on him. If you middle, click at the mouse, end mouse of the click on the end of the line. Mouse uh, middle mouse button click on the end of the line. There you go. Oh yeah, that's true too. All right, so I cast Inflict Wounds on him. Looks like it hit. Yes! Ooh. Ooh, nice. Damn. Nice Damn. necrotic, but he, you know, some, some of his skin turns black and scales fall off, but he is still alive. Shadows under moon. Oh. Kick his ass, sea bass. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna try to kick his ass. Do it. That's a oh, hit. That's a hit. All right. Uh, we'll Man, your dice speed. are hard to see the numbers. Yeah, that's the same color of the dice I was using on Bab's table that night down in Florida that worked so well for me. I got to say, they work great on here, too. Uh, okay, so he is <laughs> sneak attack. Color has nothing to do with it. Oh, max damage. Oh, that's not max damage. Wow. It is. Holy shit. Told you. But still not <laughs> enough to drop him. Well, let's slap him, too. Damn! Ah, oh, that's a hit. And he's still up. Max damage. All right. Get in here, Kim! Clem, Clem's Clem, like, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's new, he says. And uh, he gets behind the altar in the heights. And I Osmark. say, hey, snake! Your mama's so fat! Her douche is a gelatinous cube. Oh my god. <laughs> and he failed. Yes! And his mom was a gelatinous cube. <laughs> as he dies. And he's, he splashes hey, into the water. Douche. Douche. And he vanishes the way he came in. And ungrapples me. Yeah. Oh, we're going to loot the snake. Loot it. <laughs> Level up. Uh, let's see. Um, where'd my pen go for this room? Oh, the dino's on it again. I wonder if you can hold shift and click the pen under the token. That would be something. Uh, no, it should only click uh, the person whose turn it is if it, yeah. Uh, so you guys loot, and here is your loots. Sweet. Loots. Mm. Banded agate. I believe I'll grab those cow traps if nobody has a... Do it. Party invitation, what kind of... Ooh, a potion. Kind of potion. Three liquids in this bottle are separated mm -hmm. into three layers, colored brown, silver, and gray, respectively. I don't know what that is. So let's hey. see. We had two armored figures, a female and a male. Uh, the male was torturing the prisoner for fun, while the other one watched. Both uh, attack intruders, but prefer to remain on dry ground. The skull. On Kazira's shield has been painted in fresh blood and hanging from the belt you found an iron key. Iron key ring. Alright, let's take that key.
That was given to Shadows already. Uh, I don't think I have it. If it's a inventory item. Oh, here I'll throw it in the party inventory. Key ring. Eric will go ahead and uh, walk around the corner. Uh, when he's out of sight and obviously can't see anymore because the light is gone, he will de shift and walk back around the corner. Jealousy is going to drink a sip of the potion to figure out what it is. Hey guys, what, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> they're, they're all like. Oh. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. There's two whetstones in there. So, Jazzo, uh, J Jahazo, Clem Jahazo is a noble, and he tells you he was captured in the lower city two days ago after his bodyguard was slain. Um, he speaks common and elvish. He guarantees you that his family will pay you generous reward if you safely return him to their estate in the upper city. Agreed. Let's get the hell out of here. Yep. Yeah. Go uh go up top. There's a massage parlor up there. That's cool. Plus there's a party invitation to a a party where a murder happened. Uh Osmer, give me a insight check. Okay. Please. Coming up, it's coming up, boss. Well, you have no pluses, or it just rolled a, it's a nine. zero. That yeah. made you sucked. I my insight, which is wisdom, and my wisdom is a eight, so I have a minus oh. <laughs> one, but I somehow it's a plus one because. It's you zero. have half proficiency. I yeah, think. I do. I have uh, I have jack of all trades, which in this case helped me to not get whatever the hell I rolled plus one. All right, very good. Do you know so, my pappy? You guys... I'll say I'll say. Do you know? I'll, I'll, maybe this will help. I'll say. Do you know my pappy? Uh, Lord Havanac. Not to be confused with oh, my uh... uncle, Lord Havasac. That's a different guy. I know he has a position in the in the in the city government. I have not met the man myself. Yeah, I'm so sure you... he knows of the Jazzos, though. All right. Well, so you know who I am, then. So we'll make sure you get back safe. And, uh, you can report and give us the cash, as people say. I certainly will. All right. Let's. Are we do leaving it. now? Yeah, we're leaving right now. Excellent. So you guys leave? Yeah, I think we want to take him back and get cash. Is that what everybody wants to do? Yeah, they go shopping. Yeah, exactly, right? Um, Eric will go ahead and, uh, I guess, take up the back of the route let Clem go ahead and lead the way yeah we'll have him lead the way yes that's an excellent idea all right so go ahead and just kind of line your guys up over by the top of the stairs going out where's Clem He's leading. Clem is not leading. He do, he doesn't know his way out of here. Oh, he doesn't. We'll we'll direct him. We'll be like, take a right. Okay, <laughs> let's put him in the turn to the right. Let's put him in the middle then. Whoops! Hello, I just put him on top of somebody. Turn to the right. <laughs> Eric with a K needs to come join us.
What was that potion? Did somebody find out? Not yet. It's still unidentified. Okay, but I took it just so it wouldn't okay. accidentally get sold. Right. Got it. Perfect. Uh, I said a couple times I took a drink of it to see what it was. Oh, I'm sorry. I was doing other things. It's a potion of climbing. I I did it. All right. Cool. Thanks. It's always a potion of climbing. I know, right? I had a conversation with somebody. Uh, you know, who the hell's making all these potions of climbing and what the hell for? I mean, I can understand potions of healing being common, but potions of climbing, they should be like rare. Who the hell wants them? Construction workers. Right? I cleaned up party inventory. You guys start to head out. And when you start to head out, there is some commotion upstairs. All right. So I need to switch you to another map. Uh, let me bring that map up. Oh, first I got to find it. And Masu's still alive. That's all I care about. Uh, you're soon going to find out their fate. Actually, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and take that break, and I'll get everything set up for upstairs. Two. All right, ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minute break starts now. All right, everybody, we're on break for 10. Boom. I'll even put a counter up there for people. And then I will also change the slide for next week's game if Photoshop ever decides to open. What is happening with this Photoshop? Rose, what is happening? Close it. Try that again. Start Adobe Photoshop. Photoshop CC copyright 19 rights reserved and what it doesn't work oh there we go now now it does work okay so let's see we're playing Baldur's Gate so that would mean that if All right, now that I've done both of those things. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, oh, right, I got to add a thing to my website. That might be disturbing. Oh, okay, there we go. Do we sort by date? All right, let's go down and see what I need to add, which is big. Copy image image right
So, six minutes left. I don't think I need to get up. I might be getting a little tired. Be confused with bored, which I am not bored, but I do get, I tend to get tired. Lights off in here because. Turning the lights off, it tends to make you. At least that does for me. So tonight is the season premiere of Saturday Night Live at season 45. Unbelievable. It premiered 44 years ago. People that don't understand math, that'll freak them out. Because the show is starting its 45th season, but it premiered 44 years ago. So, you know, you got to add the fence post and all that stuff, remember? Dusty's texting me, if you don't have to, get up, then get down with your bad self. I, I don't know what that means, but it's funny. Message failed to send. What do you mean? I sent a message that didn't go? What the a fuck. Yeah, it did. So what's everybody doing this weekend? Who's there? Gwydion, you're here? Urash, you guys here? Uh, Bofferin, what's up? Dragonbait, I know he's here. Uh, Alfred Jukadakis, I, I probably... Dadakis eight one seven. I probably said that wrong. Uh, Della Flight. Another RT viewer. Another. Another RT viewer. I can't. Commander Root. What's up? Uh, Galfmitch nineteen seventy two. Yeah, I don't know if I can read these names right. My eyes and plus the small print and it's just. Oh hey, Joshua was here. What's up, Josh? Lurks, uh, McClancy, 1006. Uh, let's see, Pulsey. Pando and Silversong, that seems like a new name. What's up? Uh, P's TD, I know you're here, dollar sign, P's TD. Pizzetted, yeah, I don't know how to say it. Razzed, 25. Revan Master, what's up? Chad, I know you're here. Sven's one of the players. V and K. Somebody, I said their name, they just left. You can say Mitch. Oh, go, uh, go you of Michigan. Ah, got it. Go University of Michigan, 1972. I see what you're saying. You're also telling us you're 45 years old. That's nice. Uh, maybe I meant to say 47. I just don't know math. I, d I do know math. I just don't know how to talk. Uh, Vigo, Virgo Pros, what's up? Winsock. St. Kyber, nice to see everybody here. Um, I don't usually go down the na name list and read everybody's name off. Uh, I I do sometimes, but it's not it's not a practice of mine to do. I read one time somewhere on Twitch, people don't like it if you call their names out, but that's not what we do here. We participate. We love everybody, and if you don't want your name said, then you can. We're not trying to make anybody upset. Hey. 
Go University of Mitch 1972. Thanks for the follow. Name's gonna come up on the screen. There it is right there. Boom. Then there's gonna be a sound. And it's gonna sound like a woman sexually excited. But it's not meant to be porn or anything. It's just uh when you follow the sound goes off. Yeah, where the hell is that sound? Anyway, it's coming. It's coming, don't worry. Uh Prez, you like a pe a pe peas, pe pez 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 there it is. Thanks for uh thanks for liking that I acknowledge the viewers. By the way, I'm sorry about your name. I don't know how to say that. Pezetted? Peas T D? I don't know what it might be. You can spell it out phonetically and I'll try to remember how to say it. Let's see, we've got about thirty seconds left. Uh yeah. Normally during break I go make a sandwich, but I had a sandwich right before the game and I've got my I've got a box of Nilla wafers here. Boom. And I still have some Diet Coke left, so I think I'm good for the rest of the game. I can make it 80 more minutes. All right, 17, 16, 15. Back. Go ahead and switch back. See if everybody's... <laughs> P's TV, it's pronounced Bob. That's funny. I hope I remember that. What's up? Did we start? What's going on? Who's missing? Are are we back? Are we back? Did you do a vote and I missed it or what happened? Uh no, I can see everyone's here. Everybody say oh. hi. We're all on camera. Hi. So I don't have to. I'm not on camera, bitch. Uh, I can I see, see your you. ass. Well, if you're watching the stream, you can. <laughs> you see my ass? Yeah. Something's gone terribly wrong. I had the camera pointed the other way. Oh, that's not your ass. Please Sorry. shut it off. Please shut confused. it off. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, All look right. at this. So you guys... The bathhouse. Yes, we remember. Yeah, you guys, you guys make your way back up to get another massage, except when uh, Chateau's Under Moon opens the secret door. Uh, this door out here... Is already open, and uh, you can see out into the bathhouse, and they're huddling, uh, hurrying, or escorting the two massage therapists out of the bathhouse. And you see four, uh, th yeah, you can, uh, you can't see the fourth individual, but you can see three of. Or hear them oh that one is sexy and we're on initiative as they don't quite hear you yet cool and you what in the fuck open is the happening door here? slowly whoa my fantasy grounds is freaking out uh okay i might have to go off the table i guess hold on You may roll your initiative. Um, yeah, you can roll it. All right, you got a one. <laughs> See what happens when you let them Are you serious? Go. God damn it. Yeah. And Clem is, uh, he's going to go. Wow, it is being... Oh, because you were getting on the table, probably. Just gave away the password to the table by on the stream, by the way. It just didn't... <laughs> I don't even know why you password protect it. No one, no one likes my password. Uh, yeah, so this guy is like... Uh, escort. He's like, hey, get out of here. What's... You know, like they just finished questioning the guys. Now you get out of here and don't come back. And he starts to move towards uh, shadows under the moon. His nose off. And he gets to he gets to here, and he sees shadows under the moon, and he draws out his dagger. Okay. 
Shadows, Shadows of them under, under the moon. Under moon. Under moon. <laughs> under moon. <laughs> like I'm changing it right now. Fuck you. <laughs> you got the power. Hey, it's not my character. <laughs> Change away, Shadows baby. under moon. It's your turn. It's because a cat can't go. Th it doesn't have a proper tongue. I really did get a one on my initiative. It's fucking. Shuffles under moon. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so if he pulls his dagger, then that means that the game is on. So I'm going to run forward. So you leap over the massage table, slipping a little bit on the massage oil, and Ooh. land on the ground over on the other side. <laughs> That's great. Smack. Wait, hold on one second. I need to oh. give you the fat. No, <laughs> He's you're... fucking rolling damage, baby. Fuck this. I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm on it. Did you see that shit? Starsky and Hutch right over the top of the... Or Dukes of Hazard, whatever the hell it was. Um, Okay, so... Doesn't sorry, say. Drake. I moved too fast. <laughs> They're the same. <laughs> and then followed up with chips. Uh, am I waiting? Holding? No, you're you good. good. Keep okay. Going. Uh, so I'll give him the smack down. And ho, ho, ho. Vulnerable to piercing. Holy shit. And I'm just going to step to the side there so I can open this corridor up. And toned. He's toned like, look. they are coming. They are coming out secret door. And he runs all toned looking like. Don't forget, Moon, you got Bardic Inspiration D6. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Shit, I should have used that. And here's the sad part. I actually looked at it to see if I could use it for a higher initiative. So he does provoke as he goes past you, Shadows Under the Moon. Oh, yes. As you uh, as he goes by. And he pulls out his dagger as well. And then this chick steps in. Moves over to here. Well, that chick looks like an old man. One of these fuckers again. Bro, might of Merkel. And ready's in action. Boren. All right. Uh, Boren is going to come into the room um, to there and then take a swing with his uh, war hammer at uh, Mr. Toned Guy. Descend into Avernus AARPG. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, that's a hit. Are you ready for me, sir? Uh, yeah, go ahead, Kayla. Sorry. That's what my prom date said. <laughs> Man, you must have had a hell of a date for prom. Are you going to come around the corner? Uh, piece of, uh, pull up short when you see this guy standing right there. Smack him with his great club. Uh, that's a miss.
Broken can arms. Cyan. Cyan can crayon, whatever. He ain't got no arms. How's he gonna attack with a dagger? Uh he's gonna come into the room. You should be able to hold shift to grab that thing, too. Hey, I try and hold shift and control. It's not, it's not easy. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, so he and controls my push to talk, which I probably should change. Uh, so he moves in and... He's going to slip and slide over the table to over here. And uh, he's going to attack Shadows under the mo under Moon with his dagger. Yay! Shadows under Moon. And he connects with it. Ooh. You feel it sink in deeply. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I'm leaking. Eric with a K. Uh, Eric with a K. Um, will kind of run up here and figure or try to poke his head and see what's going on in the room. Kind of peek around the corner. I'm yeah, guessing the door like is the right in front of us. Looks like the subway is late and everyone's standing trying to get on it. And you want to get past everyone. Uh, do I see shadows under moon in the corner? Uh, not looking good. Uh, yeah, you got line of sight to him. Uh, I'll probably just healing word him as a bonus action. For oh, minimal, so cool. I guess. That's almost what he took in damage, though, so that wasn't bad. That feels much better. Um, I will then... Let's see. Boo, boo, boo. Nobody else is hurt. I'm damaged slightly. Uh, I'll probably just go ahead and... Uh... Just that's it. Just he's hurt. I'm gonna kind of keep an eye on, make sure that, uh, that you know nobody else is trying to come up behind us. It wouldn't hurt to take the dodge action if you're just gonna waste. Yeah, your I'll action. do that. Might as well burn it. <laughs> yeah, Hazmerk. All right. Uh, as a bonus action, well, I'm gonna step into Clem's square. Can I see Chalice from there? Yep. Okay. So as a bonus action, I'm going to give him Bardic Inspiration. As my action, I'm going to help him. And then I'm going to step back to where I am. Okay. Thank you. Uh, he's like, I'm not being tortured anymore. He gets behind. Uh, Osmerk. Sexy! And you know it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and you know it. Steps into the room and decides to stick Chateau's under moon. And that's a hit. That dagger sinks mm. in even deeper as you take 12 points of damage. What kind of a... <laughs> That's kind of what Shadows is thinking. Something's making you vulnerable to piercing. They have an aura about them. Oh, I see that. Yes, I do. And, uh... Uh, I guess you can roll a 
death saving throw. Uh-oh. And you, he coughs up a little butt. Because <laughs> he's one step closer to death. And the Necromite steps into the doorway and casts Claws of the Grave at Boren. Uh, it is a range hit, so she's going to have a minus two to hit. And she misses as this necrotic claw comes flying by you and misses you. Boren. All right. Uh, I am going to cast Cure Wounds on uh, Shadows. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, fuck. And you... Why save his life but uh, I'm, I'm all right it's okay he blinks his eyes open <coughs> coughs up a fur ball and says i'm okay galus oh am i able to donate my inspiration card to no the... you, you can only mark? use them yourself mark is up prone man All right, and is the bald, bardic inspiration that I can wait till after the roll, correct? Right. Correct. So Do I'm you going want to, to use it? the bardic inspiration? Yeah. Uh, so that's a 15. Yeah, that's a hit. I am too tough for you, he says. Oh, and he flexes. Moon, mark yourself prone. Yes. So Broken Arms turns and attacks Boren. And misses. Eric with the K. Well, uh, Eric with a K, uh, realizing that things are not exactly going well in our favor. Um, can I see uh, Tone Loke down there? Just kind of around the corner. <laughs> like, am I able to yeah. swing at him? Um, secret door, you'll have a minus five to hit, but yes. Oh, uh, like if I step over into uh, Chalice's square and attack him and then step back. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's doable. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, and as a bonus action, I'll turn into a dinosaur and then start mauling his ass. What's really going to happen is you're going to step into Kalos' square and attack, and then end your turn where Nightblade is because he'll be dead. We yeah, hope. Sure. <laughs> Don't fuck up. <laughs> oh, here that's we go. That's a mess. <laughs> Second claw. Oh, he crit. Oh! Oh. It's a standard crit. Yes! Nice. Yes. Nice. Beautiful. I'll take a five foot step forward. Do the hokey pokey. Uh, let's see, make that. Yeah, I'll step forward again. And then I'll go ahead and beak at Sexy. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, and I think sexy. I have the movement. Five, ten, twenty, twenty, whoops, twenty-five. 30 to there. Da, 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 da. And let's take, uh, well, I guess I'll go for this. I'll take two swipes at this bitch ass Nintir male necromite, whatever the hell it's called. All right, scimitar. Ah, oh, nice hit. 
Offhand. Yeah. Another one. All right. Not enough. All right. It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine. Blim, get Blim in here. does nothing. He's like, ah, nah. He does come up, though. He doesn't want to be all alone. Chateau's under moon. Oh. Uh, we need to make some room in here. So I'm going to stand using half my movement. Okay. And uh, I think prone is off of me. I just deleted it. Very good. Quarterstaff. You hit. And uh, unarmed strike. And I'll use my bardic inspiration. Wait, sir, what? You hit. Oh, I did hit? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I did so hit. Holy shit. All right. And he goes down. Chalice, you used your bardic, right? Yes, I did. Okay, and uh, so beh being behind the wall, if I move to one square north, do, is that a uh, am I disengaging with him? I mean, is he going to get yes. provoking? Okay. All right, so I'm done. And he has his skull uh, flail out and is going to swing it at Osmerk. Bring it, bitch. And whop upside the head. As you take six points of damage, plonk. Mm -hmm. And he is going to not do nothing. Boren. All right, Boren is going to Sacred Flame his ass. Ah. Uh, succeeded Baller. Kalis. All right, he happily drops his club, pulls back an arrow to, uh, to shoot. I him. love you, uh, man. Two to hit. The Garbster. Uh, sharpshooter. Thank you for the sub, sir. The uh, Garbster, everybody. 14 months in a row. Again, it sort of looks like it almost goes through Osmark. Oh, wrong. I'm sorry. Wrong dice. Um, how do you not roll crit after you accidentally did it? <laughs> Just re-roll another attack. Just re-roll an attack yeah. and... and... Well, if I apply the attack, it'd be the same thing, right? The other one? No, he's just he's just reroll another attack that's not a crit, and then yeah, now now roll damage. <laughs> yeah. It would have mattered. He goes down. And I look in his face, and I lean over his body, and I say, "That's right." And that's it. That's the end of the encounter. Level is there up. still uh, bath water in here? Yes, there is. Yeah, I'm <laughs> gonna wash the uh, shit water off of the uh, off my fur. I release the tokens. All right, uh, search the bodies. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah I didn't assist. roll that up. Uh, I'll, I'll have to roll that up real quick. Give me one. Second. And now 5,000 dice roll. Oh, no, I did roll it. Nice. Nice. There you go. Oh, wait. I was supposed to be looking at the party. Lucky charm. Oh. Hmm. Ordered silk, or chief, as some people.
Potion of healing. <laughs> One pitten, as people say. Anybody have any objections? I take a potion of healing. No, you take it. I think I might need it. That lucky charm is a one-time use to give you advantage on any skill or ability check. Oh. So let's leave it at the party sheet, and if somebody needs it, grab it out real quick. It should probably go to the tankiest person. I can take it. Yeah, someone who either needs it to really hit somebody or needs it to make a save. I'd say the needing to make oh, a it's, save. It's only tanky. on a skill or ability check, not a saving throw. Oh, okay, so skill or... Oh, and it's not even on an attack, right? Okay. No. So... It's the shadows. Who's the rogue? Because, uh... That'd be shadows. Me. Yeah, let him take it for, like, a lockpick. Yeah, or stealth or something. Yeah, exactly. All right, thank you. So it grants advantage, right? Grants advantage on one skill. I don't know, whatever it says. You can read it. It. it... Okay. Um, so Eric is just going to, uh, I guess, kind of sit down in the, the water and look like he's just kind of Relaxing and not really looking eager to go anywhere for, say, roughly about 60 minutes. <laughs> Osmerk is going to wash himself off without entering the pool. He's just going to do it with his hands. I will come and uh, here, let me assist you. <laughs> I've done it. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> So as you guys are uh, taking time to bathe and stuff, um, you all notice at about the same time that uh, you hear a, like a, the outside gates make a noise. You remember the gates that you came in? Yeah. And you all look Where's around and you don't see Clem anymore. Uh, greasy bastard, I knew it. Anybody looks like Littlefinger. We gotta, we gotta, uh, we gotta go find him. He's gonna try to get away, and we're gonna not get our money. I mean, I think I would have been, if there was even a chance that we knew he might try to just walk away. I think we would have at least been keeping an eye on him. I mean, that's sort of meta gamey, but I had no idea that he was just gonna try to sneak off. You know, and never... neither did your passive perceptions as he Ah, uh, okay, off. so yeah, that's fair. You know where so he lives, somebody right? Say, oh, crap, he's gone? Yeah, we know where he lives, right? He gave us his... Uh, you do. All right, let's you go. Do, well, you, you don't know exactly where he lives, but you know where the estate is at in the upper city. Yeah, let's and go it's there. not okay. going anywhere. So as soon as we hear the front gates and somebody says, oh, crap, where's Clem? Eric will just start full-on sprinting towards the front gate and kind of like trying to find him. He has a movement of 40, so it's faster than a normal human. Yeah, and if I see that, I'm uh, going to start chasing okay. Eric. So I guess you'll eventually catch up to him, right? <laughs> Everybody sees a dinosaur running through well, the streets. Um, yeah. <laughs> 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 ah, children are fucking screaming yeah so you come out of the gate and you see him like hustling down he's turning down the alleyway there all right i'm just barreling towards him well he sees you coming and he takes off as fast as he can run which is a 30 so eventually I would gonna say <laughs> eventually you're going to catch up to him, but it's going to be what some three movements down the path down the well, alley. If he's doing a double move and I'm doing a double move, I gain twenty foot on him every six seconds. And he had uh, one hundred and twenty on you. No, he had sixty on you to begin with. So yeah, three movements you're going to catch him. So let's just say he's down here when you catch him. I mean, how are you catching him? He, he doesn't stop when you get behind him. Yeah, I'm just running up behind him and 
basically nailing them with a claw. Yeah, and I can move 120 feet per. Okay, uh, roll the hit. Well, this is going to go over well. We're the attacking on his ass. That's a hit. And he's on. Oh, oh shit! I'm gonna run the other way. Oh my fucking god! Oh wait! Didn't, did, I, didn't I heal him? him? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, did you mean to kill him? No, no I just. But I healed him, him before. Down. I, I, how come I heal? I healed him. Remember, I get because his cure max hit points is one. Oh Jesus! Yeah, Christ. he has oh, one Jesus. hit point. So if you do two or more damage, he instantly dies. Yeah. Well, you you didn't kill him though. You knocked, knocked him, him out. out. So he, he is him unconscious, right. laying in the street. I'll just kind of grab his leg with my my mouth and just kind of start dragging his ass back into yeah, the bathhouse. Yeah. All right, then when we get him, yeah, let's, okay, uh, and help him quickly. Let's uh, yeah, we'll get him back inside. You the guys building. are good at this. Get, we'll the get body. him back inside quick, the building. Quickly, get him back in. And then, then I'll go <laughs> get back we... in the bath and. Again, plan to relax there for about roughly 60 minutes because it takes 1D4 hours for him to wake up and just kind of not if Not if Chalice uses a healing kit on him. We can wake him up If right no away. one heals him, it takes him 1D4 hours. That's yeah. the point. <laughs> Chalice has a heal kit. Taking a short rest while we're watching him. Oh, yeah, we can do that. He's not going to run for the gate anymore. <laughs> Yeah, he's a, he's out at least your short rest. So is that why you guys want a yeah, short rest? Yeah, yeah, at least a short rest. Let me give you I some do. rest love. And then after yeah, you give us rest uh, love, roll a d4 to see if he wakes up. All right, so you guys uh, take oh, no, a short rest, get cleaned up, and uh, and he is still unconscious. Somebody healed me. We got a short rest. Oh, the healer kit, Chalice did. Yeah. Oh, sweet. He did not announce it, by the way. Chalice, you should always announce it when you do that. It's not cool to just do it and not tell anybody. Boren doesn't need any rest, so he can stand guard. So, when we wake this guy up, I'm going to be in his face. And I'm going to say, not cool, dude. You owe us money. Uh, that's going to take a week, Marbanya. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's a real funk. It's a funk guy. You might need tomato juice. Can you guys hear oh, me? skunk. But he can hear me, huh? So your rest was successful, everyone. Now what? Can you guys hear me now? Yeah, now he can. Oh, yeah, okay, you yeah. didn't hear any of the shit I said. Uh, I'm gonna be in his face when he wakes up, and I'm gonna say, "You owe us money, dude." Kinda... He he's unconscious, I, and I, it's I, been I an said hour. When he wakes up, yeah, when he wakes up. And then is Chalice so gonna you... use a healing kit on him? I wouldn't waste it, greasy fucker. Well, we can wait here for three more hours or however many. I was saying, I guess I thought you could hear me, but I guess you couldn't. You should roll a D four, Drake, because he I already you did. A, oh, you did. Okay. So we should just wait here and stare at him till he wakes up. That's cool. We should drag him back down into that sewage, remind mm -hmm. him of where he was when we found him. Eric has an idea. So Eric's going to, um, chillantly pull out his club, cast Shanene. Shanene. Then casually pull out a healing potion and start administering a healing potion. And as soon as he so comes I'll stop to you comes to you use the healing potion. And I'll I'll use the healer's kit instead. Okay. So as soon as he comes to, I'm just gonna hit him again. <laughs> Roll that. Not, as he's coming to you're gonna knock him back out. He's going to be proud. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> All right, so he wakes up. And as as uh, as Eric is swinging He's to proud. knock him back out, I scream in his face, You owe us money! <laughs> and 
And, then and he's he like, uh, <laughs> what? Buff. <laughs> yeah. Roll damage. Well, we meant to just knock him out, right? Oh. Yeah, no, not this again. And oh, okay. what twelve please of bludgeoning damage. Why do we have to go through this? We just meant to knock him out. So now I will administer a healing potion, and as soon as he wakes up, I'm gonna hold my club over his head. They tell us what we want to know. He's like, I, I, I lied. I lied. We're broke. We don't have any money. Jesus. I start struggling with Eric to try to get his club away from him. All the while mumbling, I'm going to kill this motherfucker then. <laughs> I don't know if Eric wants to stop me. Sorry. I want my money. Give me and the druids like, give me my money. Yeah, so and then that doesn't sound very druidish. Tell us the druid is actually saying Did okay, you know that they were up again. here? We can hear you, Rob. Oh, yeah, so now you're now you're just ignoring me. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. what I want to say is to this guy, you lied to us and you owe us. So now you're gonna tell us everything we want to know and if you don't or if we think you're lying again or giving us bad information then my friend here is going to club you for the last time how does he respond i i swear uh, i'm telling the truth we're, we're broke and i i could come up with some money somehow but i don't have any now i i can't even go to the estate they're foreclosing on it uh, don't kill me, though. I, I know people. I, I know your father. He's a nice guy. Do we believe him? No, he's lying. Thwack. About about well, his dad being a nice before guy. We, be, yeah, my dad's not a nice guy, you punk. Uh, before we kill him, do we? is there anything we could possibly get from him that might help us, or do we just kind of get rid of him? Yeah, what's his shoes look like? <laughs> uh, he's barefoot. They stripped him of most of his clothes. I'm curious why they got him is just for sacrifice, but to capture a noble seems a little excessive. He's not a noble, though. That's probably the thing. So he's, wasn't yeah, he a bro? Oh, he definitely. If it, if he says who he says he is, he is a noble. But he's probably a fucking outright liar altogether. He's lying. Do we want to ask him any more questions? Uh, take his loincloth cloth off and turn him loose out in the street. Push him out of the bathhouse naked. <laughs> Paint some blood on his butt. Dunk, with his, dunk him in the with sewer his water first. Point, with his one <laughs> hit point. As the sun's going down in the southwest district of Baldur's Gate, hey, you might as well just kill him now. Okay, knock right. him out. Not not killing him, just knocking him out. <laughs> to hide him in the bathtub. Let's see. Clem guarantees that his family will pay a generous reward for a safe return to the estate in the upper city, but the noble is lying. His mother's dead, his patriarch father is ailing, and his three younger siblings crave their inheritance, which they would rather split three ways than four. So basically, yeah, he has nothing to offer you. I'm serious. We drag him out in the street naked and leave him. I'm just going to knock him out and leave him be. Load him. No, I mean he, he's he, he basically does not need to be in our way. Um, there's no point to um, killing him because I mean that he serves. He's not interrupting the balance of nature or uh, any power struggles or anything. He is a noble, so he kind of has his place. So I'm just going to knock him out, tie him up, leave him on the couch, and away we go and back into the dungeon. All right, he does not resist. <laughs> as he's like, I'm telling you, pop, as you hit him again. He's got like five right, big lumps on his head now. <laughs> All right, back to All right, guys. Go. Let's go. We know how to interrogate people now. Are we, so are we guys doing milestones or down. XP? I forgot.
I mean, oh, talking oh, to him, oh, we're doing and he's constantly in line. It it's just wasted time. We were sent here by the flaming fist, your mom, to go and try to look at the, <laughs> the three dead guys. So let's get our XP. Uh, hold on, I'm maybe yeah, take a long rest before map. we go back down. No objection. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Now I just can't tell if they can hear me or not. Let's get our X. Not connecting, connecting, connecting. No route. This fucking Discord uh, bullshit. Okay, there we go. Dungeon. There you go. Um, there you know. We should get our XP first before we go down and see if we want a long rest. I don't know if we have enough to level up. Uh, let me double check that I did all that. No, I need to do that upstairs encounter. Sound like brick top from the movie Snatch. Eh. The dog. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> that's everything from all the encounters? Uh, that's everything. Okay, so we don't have enough. So we need to go kill a bunch of stuff real quick. Yeah, real quick. So we're going to go back down and go to... The unexplored place, which at this point is here. And here, there's a, a doorway here on that other side of that room. Oh, yes, yes, there is. All right, which one first, west or south? Let's uh, both check doorways. this one. Okay, let's so check let's... this one out and uh, not leave anything behind us. All right, sounds good. Here they come. Rest the party. Tally ho, motherfuckers. Open her up. Tally whacker. So as you uh, get close to this door, you you smell with your keen sense of smell. Don't you have like a real good sense of smell? You, yes. you smell what? Like coming from under the door and like around the door, you smell like rotten eggs coming from inside. You're like... <laughs> I'll relay that information to the rest of the party. Wasn't me. I'll take a couple yeah, steps right. back. Beer and eggs for a midnight snack. Gross. Jeez. <laughs> uh, I'm going to check the door out. Um, it looks like all the other kind of rotten wooden doors down here. Doesn't look like a trap. The uh, no, you don't find any traps as you search it. Uh, does it push open or pull? Uh, it's a cafe style. It can do both. Okay. Well, then I'll <laughs> push the doors in and take a peek. More <laughs> columns of water. Uh, this room is flooded, uh, about the same two foot deep. There is a smell of rotten eggs. Excuse me, I got a sneak. A chew. Good and tight. Dang. Good and tight. I've never heard that. The air like smells a... like rotten eggs and a putrid stench that carries well beyond the room. It's like... <laughs> Stinks in here. All right, I'm definitely going along the walls in here. Something stinks. Take a peek back this direction. Good thing there's a bathhouse close by. Right. 
You keep having to go back up there every 10 minutes and take a uh, When you peek around that corner, like when you look down that alleyway, you can see off to the right, there's some stairs that go up. Okay. And uh, coming from that direction is a flickering green light. Same skull. Are we in Skullport? Um, uh, we were cautiously proceed. I will. Well, are you gonna try to stealth around the wall and look over there, Moon? No, man. I got a. I got a dwarf in front of me. All right. Well, then I'm gonna go. Hey, who's up here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yodel you. What's this green light I see? I can't help but the, want to yodel when I see your token. The light source is just uh, just what Rob's got on him. Uh, uh, well, plus people have dark vision, <laughs> but a shining loot. Right. Okay. Uh, so you turn the corner. What's up, Babooski? Uh, so this obviously is a dryer room. It kind of goes up out of the water. And off to the left, you see another altar. Uh, on the altar, you can make out the, there's a handful of humanoid skulls and bones that are kind of piled around it. And it's also covered with a whole bunch of candles like six seven different candles different sizes the candles are all black and uh one of them uh is kind of glowing a little bit green and that's where that faint light's coming from so the it's lit then the candles are lit no no it's not it's actually not lit it's just glowing a little bit. And do nose. do the black candles and the green candles look exactly the same except for their color? Or are they differently shaped? Uh, no, all the candles are black. The one of the candles is glowing slightly green, though. The right. The and is it in fact a candle, candle, or is it something else like a wand? No, it is a candle. All right, I'll pick that up. It looks like it has been lit, and it's kind of like pooled and the wax has been melted so it's kind of stuck to the altar is it, it so it's sta it's standing upright correct yeah all of them are uh, actually yeah. all of the candles at one time have been lit none of them are Eric brand is new looking I'm, around the corner up here i will take like the taking up the back flint and steel or whatever the hell i have flint box shit to light stuff with what's it called I have it. A tinder box. A tinder yeah, box. Tinder box, yes. Uh doesn't say that I have that here. Uh does anybody have a tinder box? Uh, I don't like this candle. I have a lit lantern. Yes, you just I use do. a lantern. Okay. But I like this candle. Wait. Who oh, has I like a lit candle? Lantern? Payless. Uh, that would have been important to know as you walk through the methane gas earlier. That's why I was asking about light sources. Oh, well, wouldn't I have seen that? I have, I have, Osmark has a, uh, his, his, uh, is a spell. Living. Uh, well, the exploding gas that's in the room does not ignite from a light spell, but it does from an open lantern. Ah, so when he comes walking the... in. Yeah. I mean, he's so coming. So does the flame. All right, so blow us up because he's coming in. Uh, actually, I think, uh, how did you guys come in? Was he like last no, Chalice is not last? even in the room yet, but he said he was going to come in to light the candle. Now, this room has the gas in it. Which room? The room Eric with the K was in the back. Everybody else was in the, the water. 
Oh, that room, the big giant. Oh, I thought it was the one with the altar. The room that smells like when rotten everyone, eggs. When everyone entered, I was here, uh, kind of looking around the corner, and everyone else entered. Yeah, I'm sorry. I said it a couple of times. I also typed it in chat, so I'm not sure what else. Oh, did you? I didn't pay attention. It says What's in the chat, chat Chalice has his bullseye lantern. Plus, he did say it out loud. Well, that's okay. Um, let's. Uh, I think everybody was in the room, so let's just rewind a little bit, and let's all roll a. I guess I could target. Let me open this. Target you get the, everybody. The party right? sheet. You can roll. Everybody roll a con save or dex save, or whatever the fuck it is. If it's a dex save, yeah. I'm oh just yeah, I want to do that. It is a dex. Wait, what is it? Dex save. Do I set the DC right on here too? Huh? Yeah, I set the DC, and then it'll roll it for all of us, and you'll see all the dice. Oh shit. So why didn't it do the damage? I, I have to, how does the damage get applied then? Well, do you have the attack? I mean, do you have? Yeah, you I should using, have targeted. Are you using description or are you using a trap or a, or a hazard that has a stat block? Yeah, it has a stat block. I should have. Oh, well, then you should have just put in the combat tracker out. and targeted this. Yeah. Well, Shadows yeah. and Eric are the only two that failed. So Shadows and Eric take seventeen. I'm dead. I'm down. And everybody else takes. Eight, uh, eight. I will start administering wound healing. <laughs> nice. That healer's kit's awesome. Oh, oh. What are you? What are you doing? I'm not wounded. Why are you? Wait, what are you? Yeah, you can't you're, just start you're way ahead of me. Shit, dude. Osmerk is done. Kalis will have one hit point. Okay, uh, I'll just fix that. It's not letting me put uh, damage on. Babooski, thank you for the bits, sir. Number lock. Number lock. And I think that's it. So, yeah, he fully healed you, Osmerk. You. So that's I just didn't even do it. He was ahead of me, but that's okay. I did them. Vex is Vex is PMing me or DMing me in Discord. I have a product I'd like you to put on the DM Guild. <laughs> I'm like, we're using your shit now. All right. So yeah. So when you walked in, uh, bringing a lit torch or other open flame in the gas fill room triggers an explosion that fills the chamber. Uh, all creatures must make a DC 15 dexterity saving throw or take 46 fire damage on a failed save or half a much on a successful one. All wooden beams that support the ceiling are destroyed in the explosion, which could cause a roof to collapse. Oh, that's mm -hmm. Nice. Which it does not, but you can see that bits and pieces of the wood are burning and smoldering, and the roof looks very unstable now. As you guys moved around and into the altar room to get out of the water. So should we fast forward tokens again to where we were? Yeah, go ahead and move them back. We just re retro that. So who who's the blue guy? Eric. Okay. Oh, ba boom! Singe my right. whiskers. 
And you guys were looking at the candles on the altar. One of them was kind of glowing a little bit. And Chalice was going to go in and light it. Known religious significance? Uh, yeah, probably. It it has something to do with Merkel. Merkel's it's a Merkel altar. Kayla, you said you're gonna you're gonna. Well, I mean, there's plenty of fire now. <laughs> your your lantern's really bright right now, Wolf. Did you say you're gonna go in and light one? Which one? The one that's glowing, or one of the other ones? Uh, you're muted. Or is it me that can't hear? No, no, I don't hear him. I don't hear him. Discord's being, uh... Discord sucks right now, too. It's had a hell of a day. It went down this morning in Babs' stream. Osmark had one. Can you hear me? Yeah, 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 I can. So whatever one he's holding is the one I'm letting. Osmark, which one are you holding? The oh, one that's which, glowing which, uh, which one or one of the other ones? Candles. The candles. I never said I was holding it. I said I lit it. Or I, I, I wanted to light it. Oh, so he points to that one, the one that's glowing. The, the green, says, that yeah. one's the one that needs to be lit. So Kalis comes over and he tips his lantern and he lights it. And when he does, the light reveals black writing on the walls. The writing, which is not otherwise visible, says in common, rise and be counted. So it's like big, huge words on the wall it says R-I-S-E and be counted. What do you guys do? For what you are about to receive. Um, are any of us not standing? Uh, no, everyone's standing that I know of. Uh oh. I think the bard just committed us to something. I'll uh, stand. On, I'll climb up and stand on the altar. <laughs> like, it doesn't look like it's meant to be stood oh, on, okay. but well, then yeah, I won't okay. Do it. I mean, if it looks, if it's obvious that it's gonna like break it or something, I want to do that. Uh, yeah, you would like uh, knock over candles, spill all the bones. So what's the down this off. hallway? Can we see anything down where board? Uh, uh, yeah, there's a doorway down to the left. All right, so Boren will say that phrase out loud. It's so as you say loud. that phrase out loud. The debris at the north end of the room rises up and knit together, forming three animated human skeletons. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> That's his favorite thing to say. Are they friendly? And they snap to attention as. Who who just read, said that out loud? Boren. As Boren now has control of these three yeah! undead skeletons. Hell yeah. That's right. They obey the commands of whoever spoke the words that raised them serving that individual until they are destroyed or their master is killed. All right. Well, awesome. And we're going to name them one, three, and two. Cheer bits. <laughs> cheer bits in the stream. Thanks for the cheer bits. Larry cheer bits. Gwydion, thank you for the cheer bits. Cheer bits, Gwydion, cheer bits. So let's uh, send them down the hallway and find out what's down the hall. Yeah, just start marching them around. Oh, yeah, well, there's a door down the hall, so we need to open the door. 
We could have him search up that watery area. Yeah, yeah but it doesn't well, look stink like the cat. Now, you guys they... can move him around, right? Yeah, we should be able to move him, but he he uh yeah. he can control them, but they don't. It's not like they have telepathy or they can go on the corner and then send back information. Like they can, he can just tell them what to do, right? Right. Uh, they they speak. Talk? They understand languages that new in life, but can't speak, so right. they know common. So they can basically be told what to do, but can't communicate to us anything. And they have an intelligence of six, so a little smarter than a labradoodle. They're fellow tanks at this point. They got a 13 armor class, and they can... They got short swords. And short bows. Nice. Or archers. Kicking down the door. Uh, all right, so Boren went down there and is peeking around. I guess at this point, Eric will kind of come around the corner and say, rise and be counted. Uh, nope, sorry, you're out of luck. It only works once. Oh. <laughs> I said rise, bitches! <laughs> it doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> Smashes all the cameras. I call all the skeletons over to me. They're like, clink, 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 clink. All right. Uh, good. So... Huey, Dewey, and Louie are now on our side. <laughs> they can't stop. They can't stop. So we're going to go to the south door here. Nice. There's south, and then there's a passageway here on the west, it looks like. Okay. Uh, when like? you guys get uh, heading... Actually, hold on one second. Born, when you get to that square... Hold on one second. can't itch my eye and talk at the same time apparently suddenly there's another explosion um, and you'll die you hear someone casting a spell coming from that direction and we're gonna roll initiative because you guys weren't being quiet This partially collapsed room has three wooden beams bracing its ceiling. Situated between the beams is a scorched wooden table with a human cadaver resting atop it. A frighteningly thin woman in black robe is studying the corpse, her face largely hidden under a, crown, a cow. Under her feet creep a swarm of skeletal rats. So that's what you see when you peek around the corner and... Let me throw this encounter in the combat tracker. I'm going to kill her and take her spell books too. And when Just take her up, shit. I'm going to take her shit. Take a level of wizard and take, take all these spell books. And uh, par the course, Chateau's under moon. You get to go first. And you're in the back. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I mean, you know, with the it's five feet per you know, five feet, it's half your movement speed to move through people, right? So it's I don't know that I can... It's 10 foot per person, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. You know what? I could use my feline agility or tokens locked. Nope. Also, you can just go on the wall. How tall yeah. are the ceilings? Only eight foot, so he still would be going okay. through the... Got it. Through the yeah. And I'm going to do this to keep from having to hold shift all the way around. And uh, so using my feline agility and my action to do, uh, to dash, I can make it to there. That's all I'll be able to do this round. So. Well. 
And if we kill, uh, if we kill the pet skeletons, do we get experience for them? <laughs> uh, yeah, why not? Oh, that's, I'm just kidding. That's how necromancers gain levels, right? Summon them up and kill right. them. I pick up and throw it down. So, skeleton number two, what's he going to do? I'm going to order him to move to here, uh, and that'll take its full double movement. I assume it has a movement rate of 30. No, it's probably 20. Uh, actually, let me share one with you, so you got it. Let me give you a number one. Just drag that down to your hot bar. It didn't pop up on my side. That. Wait, my mouse just acted up. All right, you should have it. Got it. Is it 20? Oh, no, that's 30. zombies. Okay, good. All right, yeah, so he's yeah. just blocking shit now. So, yeah, he's he's just stopping there. All right. I can't end this turn. Yeah. Yeah. Osmerk. Osmerk is going to. You have give... Boren targeted, by the way. Yeah, that's on purpose. I'm going to give Boren a Bardic Inspiration. Nice. It's, it's cute that you think I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, and then. <laughs> it's cute. Aww. I am going to step forward into Eric with a K of space and help Boren. And then step back. Then you have enough movement to do that. Flynnis, she gets to go. Let's see. What? Is, oh my god, look at all this crap she's got. So and she when I was is... up there, I might have yelled, I'm going to get your spellbook, bitch. Might have done that. Um, Let's see what she's got. <laughs> Hashtag me too. So uh, she wants to drop a fireball, but uh, she has to see a point, right? The point that you can see, I think, is how it reads. Does she have a special 30-foot yep. fireball? I just was trying to see stuff. Twenty, right? It's twenty, yeah. Well, that's the point that she can see, right? So yeah, it would still that's... affect her little skeletons, or no? Well, but that's still too big. That's like twenty-seven. The number's just twenty. But you see, you got to count the squares, right? So if it's here, that's the point. Then it would be five, ten, fifteen, twenty would be out to here. It wouldn't even get her. But you got to draw the circle, right? And it would get who? It would get all of us. I mean... Okay, that's what she wants to it's do. A, Five, it's 10, a 15, 20-foot radius. 20-foot radius, yeah. Not a 20-foot di yeah. diameter. Right, it's a 20-foot okay. radius, right. So here, I'll draw one myself. Yeah, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. would get everybody Perfect. and not, not her. So we're fucked. Yeah, we're fucked. It goes around corners and all that shit. Fireballs burning two slots. Yeah, this is where the this oh. is a TPK right here. Yep. So let's see what happens when she chucks a fireball at you guys. Uh, I just need to target everybody. I would use my inspiration to save too. Uh, yeah, stand by before that attack. I'm going to check my inspiration cards as well. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. 
Yes, I'm going to use an inspiration card bigger. I got this platinum card, the enemy of my enemy. Kalis, is that you that said that? Because you can't really see anybody. Okay, so I'm gonna okay. use Never I'm mind. gonna use uh, unstoppable. Which will give me resistance to fire. Oh, it gives me resistance to everything. Uh, it says use this oh, card on your fuck, turn. Fucking fucking fuck. Stupid card. All right. I just read that again. But does it say as a reaction? No, it doesn't. Damn it. Yeah, this sucks. Okay, well. That was a uh, nice so, try. no, uh, but I am going to use my inspiration on my save because fuck it. I do see all of you have inspirations glowing up there. Yeah, so. I'm going to use it too. Same. I marked advantage and took yes. off my. Yeah, if you're using it, click it off, uncheck it, and then uh, click advantage. advantage. Yeah. And click advantage. It looks like everybody say, "Screw the damn cards. We're going to save our lives right now." I'm so here comes the uh, next save. Yo, oh my god. Oh shit. Uh, we'll just take the first one. Sorry, I double rolled. Uh, they're the second set, right? Success, success, success. Shadows failed. Yeah, let's... And yeah, Shadows is the only one that failed. <laughs> now the fuck is that good? <laughs> well, I mean, four out of five of us saved. Holy shit. Uh, Shadows is not dead. What? No one is dead except the skeletons. Nice. Uh, a they couple are... people are dying. What? Yeah, like, yeah that's fine. Eric the the and healing can Osmark. happen and shit, but nobody's dead. I thought that was going to kill outright some people. Yeah. Yeah, me too. And right. she uh, moves over here. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm coming in, bitch. I say no unconsciously. Run. All right, let's clean up this mess and see who can do anything. Uh oh. And the swarm of skeletal rats gets to go. All right. Osmerk has received a potion of healing from Diablo Bob, cheater in the chat. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know we could do that. Well, not not to yourself generally, but for other players. <laughs> you can. So I'm gonna take my potion of healing. Holy shit! Well, the skeletons oh, are short lived. Nice. <laughs> What's this fucking swarm doing now? Uh, the swarm is got a 30 foot move, so it's going to move out. Eric with a K has received a potion of greater healing from dragon bait in the chat. Thank you, dragon. The swarm can occupy another creature's space and vice versa, and the swarm can move through any opening large enough for a tiny rat. So it uh, swarms out and tries to attack Boren. So they all like come clamoring on you and around you and try to bite you. Okay. And they fumble. I don't know, because you're on fire? <laughs> <laughs> They twist their ankle and suffer half movement speed until they take a short rest. So, uh, I don't know. You singe their all their little toes as they jump on you and you're smoldering. 
and they have half movement until they take a short rest. So um, half movement, I'll apply that to them. And they are done. Uh, the dishes are done. All right. Um, I'm going to leave healing the rest up to you guys. I am going to uh, attack this swarm and uh, as a bonus action use healing word on myself. Well, you got the minimum, but you hit the rats and you squish two of them. <laughs> Kalis. All right, I'm shaking my head, getting all those little specks of light out of my eyes. Take a deep breath. You can do um, second wind. Nice roll. And then I'm going to move up and shoot the swarm. A uh, crit. <laughs> nice. Wait, you guys should pause before you roll damage, because if there's an effect before the damage, I'd like to know that. And this does have an effect. All right, so uh, you shoot uh, so hard that your arrow uh, hits the corner over there, and part of the limestone collapses onto the swarm of skeletons, and it kind of pins them and paralyzes them for one round. Nice. And you still did your damage. Are you going to move? Where's your? Where are you going to end your move? Oh, you only, could be in that square. Yeah, place, you're okay in that square. The only yeah. place he can move, he can't move anywhere else. Yeah, I just he he can he can go there. I just didn't see that it was big enough for him. Shadows Under Moon has received a potion of healing from Dragon Bait in the chat. Okay, so quick question: uh, swarms and such. Um, let's see. He's it's what paralyzed. And what? Uh, speed is halved. Okay. Uh, swarms can I stand in the same square? Yeah, the swarm, the swarm can't be paralyzed. Uh, they're immune to being paralyzed, so I'm not even going to apply that. I'm basically asking if I can stand in its square. Yes. Yes. Excellent. Or Van, so... you get your heal, right? Surprise, surprise. Uh, not yet. It's immediate. Let's see. Oh, okay. I was going to wait till my turn. For no, no, it's, it happens immediately. I'm basically going to run through its square and stand next to it. Moving to there. Thank you, okay. Dragon Bait. Attack number one. Hit. Miss. And hit. A little damage. Shadows under moon. I'll use uh, half my movement to stand up. Is this uh, swarm of rats still twitching? Oh, yeah. All right. There are several of them still up, like a couple dozen still still about, if okay. not more. So, uh, yeah, cat gets advantage against rat, right? No, just kidding. With quarter staff. That's a hit, and uh, yep. I'll get sneak attack since we got them all surrounded here. You have plenty of associates. <laughs> associates. 
And then I'll kick at him. They're and resisting it. That's me. All right. Now I am going to use Unstoppable. So, on my turn, I gain resistance to everything until the end of my next turn. And I may dash as a bonus action, which I will do right now. And it is 60 feet to there. I've already calculated it 17 times. I will delete. 17 times. <laughs> I, did, I did, just to make sure. Uh, and then I will delete this card. And with my action, I will slice her in her face. Uh, can you can you be in one of those other squares at all? What do you mean? Well, there's a big post between the two of you. Oh, I didn't see that. Um, I'll just take my whatever. No, I can't move any you're further. Minus. Than, yeah, yeah, see, you're I, minus I was two then. Five. Okay, five. 15, 25, 35, 40, 50. Oh, yes, I can. Go here. All right. All right, very well. So, scimitar attack. No inspiration to 18 be times. Fuck. And then right. you miss. I'm in her face. I'm in her face. Uh, let's see. So, what does she got? Does she have a melee touch? Chill touch is not a touch. Chill touch is a ranged spell. I know. Unlike the description, it says it's touch. Yeah, chill right? touch. Chill I always say that chill touch and sacred flame are the two worst named spells because... It's neither a touch nor a flame. So she's going to cast... Ooh. She's going to blow her first level wad on you. And dump burning hands on your face. I resist everything. She doesn't know that. And I'm not even going to roll. Let's, let's just see if you would have failed or made it. Well, no, I, I don't take no damage. I just resist. I take half. Oh, yeah, that's right. right half. Let's see. She, so she blasts you with burning hands. And you usually just take it in the face. You're like... <laughs> oh, she almost maxed it. it. Shit. Maxed it. it, it, it. it did. Eight, eight, eight points of damage. Blast! Oh, I got one hit point. And then she draws out her melee weapon. And that's all she can do. The rats go. They're like, ooh, look, Boren, more food. Yummy yum. Let's bite him. And they miss. That's pretty lame. All they get is one little bite. Boren. All right. Boren is going to uh, move through the swarm of rats and move to the other side of Eric with a K. Let me draw. Uh, well, leaving their threatened square does provoke. I mean, you can move through them, but if you leave their threatened square, you will provoke. Yeah, and that's fine. And they're going to use their reaction. I want to get to there. And they missed. Yeah. And then I am going to guiding bolt this bit. Yes! D12 in your face. Oh, 4D6 maybe is what I'm... Uh, yeah, a little radius damage. Ow! And advantage on attacks. Is that for one attack or one turn or what happens for it, that? Next attack. Uh, that is 
and the next attack roll made against the target before the end of my next turn. Okay. A roll for fun. What is All going right. on here? Dungeons and Dragons 5e using Fantasy Grounds. That's what's going on. We are playing Baldur's Gate Descent to Avernus. Kalis. There's All some right. there's some rats in front of you. Big skeleton rats are like. I'm going to be careful. Make sure that my arrow, once it hits the swarm, hits into the wall. <laughs> and that Curie thinks we're kicking the shit out of this. That's way. a hat. A different opinion. They resisted some of it. <laughs> Eric with a K. Just gonna Dino go boy. Start, start Eric, stomping these things. Eric with a K has been hasted. Oh, you fumbled. Oh, and there is an effect. Oh, you did the same thing again. Uh, you critically hit yourself and the target with the same attack you fumbled with. Killed wow, so you did 12. You did 12 to yourself and killed the rats. Uh, Look at rats. I don't know how to roll on the chart though. Hold on. Roll a d6. All right, no effect. All right, so uh, that being done and that only being one attack, I'm going to go ahead and do my movement. You knocked the rats out. No, I'm kidding. And that, yeah, they're unconscious. That haste, by the way, was from Dragon Bait. Thank you, Dragon. Um, so I still have another claw, a bite, uh, a bonus action, and another turn. <laughs> so I'm basically kind of. Go ahead. All right, hold on. I get some sound effects going real quick. Is it the sound of us partying while we kill this bitch? Oh shit, it's 906? Holy crap, I didn't realize. I'm too much fun. My second claw. Whenever Drake is ready. Yeah, go ahead. I did my sound effects. The chainsaw going was you just winding up in there. I didn't hear anything on clean. Uh, yeah, we didn't hear anything from those sound effects. Oh, I lost connection. How about that? Yes! There's a glitch in the matrix. Yes! <laughs> More! <laughs> okay, so that's my first turn. <laughs> Die, bitch! Now my second <laughs> turn. I see Drake rocking it and Diablo Bob crushing it and Rob smacking it. Haven't ever um, interacted with Maticuri or Spencer, but I'm sure they're doing great too. Nice. Okay, hit. so that hit. Okay. Hey, what's up, Joey? Another almost fumble. Yes! Oh, max damage yes! and she goes down like a... Nice. I still have two not. more beaks. <laughs> Level up. Two more beaks. <laughs> you keep going. Beak, beak. Yeah, you just you keep, keep pecking. I start rifling through her robes and fucking shit looking for a spell book. Uh, let's see. What does she got? And mumbling like you dirty witch. All right. So she was preparing to make the body into a undead creature. She was about to cast anime dead on it, but you guys interrupted her. In addition to her robe and her flail, Flennis carries a dusty spell book. Hello! Uh, the book has black leather covers and sports a tiny skull-shaped look, skull-shaped locking mechanism. I'll deal with that later. Give me a, a investigation. Oh, okay, hold on. Dun, 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 dun. 
Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, you know, I can't become a wizard. I got a nine intelligence. Fuck. Somebody else be a wizard. Uh, let me get party sheet open. Inventory. So here is the spell book. Man, and it's then her loaded. random, and her random treasure stuff. Is anybody else going to try to become a wizard? If not, we're going to get a lot of money for these spell books. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I've got I, you and I went to the same school. Yeah, tell them all. Dumbass. Did uh, did Osmer look through the spell book? Yeah, Fireball, Animate Dead, Scorching Ray, Misty Step, Dark, there's right, a lot of fun. Hold on, shit. so you set the trap off. Whatever, I'll take it. And you fail. Help! Help me. <laughs> Somebody I'm uh, about to. The, the creature to... holding the book. Okay, so when you open the book, a... A... Uh, Black smoke rises from its pages and coalesces into a skull that cackles madly for a few seconds before dissipating. The creature holding the book with the, when the smoke appears must succeed on a DC 14 con save. On a failure, the target is cursed and has vulnerability to necrotic damage. Yep, that's what happens. All right, and how, and how does that... How, when does that go away? Um, you can remove it with a remove curse or 24 hours. Okay. Level up. <laughs> Let's take a break. <laughs> yeah. Well, Eric will go ahead and, and let me, let, let and me do, do some. Uh, well, that was fun. Seven day break. Yeah, let me we do need to some uh, here for a little bit, I think. XP stuff. Is that what you guys need? One ninety-seven. That's what I need. I think they need two o three or something. Yep. Yeah, two o three. Oh, two thirty. Ah. Nice. Nice. So can we uh, go back up to the bathhouse and take a long rest then, and then start next uh, week at level we'll three? Uh, let's see the bathhouse. Uh, there may be an encounter. I'd have to roll, but can we yes, take a long try. rest here? The same encounter would have same chance of the same encounter would happen. Um, do you guys want to roll for the chance now, and then that way we'll know either we can level up now or we have to wait till next week and do the encounter? Do you guys want to do that? I say let's roll now. Yeah, let's roll. Yep. Roll the. And are we rolling for footage? down here or upstairs? Uh, yeah. Where do you want to be when this encounter takes place? I guess. Are you question. saying an encounter it, is uh, going to take place, or that there's a chance uh, for an encounter to take place? If you guys take a long rest, there is a chance that an encounter okay, can chance. take place. So um, I'm, I'm asking, yeah. where do you want to be right here. if Fuck the it. encounter does let's take do place? It. Right here, or do you, what do you guys think? Yeah, this works. Stay here. Let's do it. Okay. Here. In the morgue. <laughs> We're going to take a long rest in the morgue. Yeah, and I'm going to use this bitch for a pillow, here. too, is what I'm doing. And you guys get a long rest. Yes! Sweet. Yeah. All right, so now we can level up. And you guys need to take the stuff out of the inventory, too. Why are you doing that? Oh, yeah, okay. Well, I'm leveling you. Ooh, a potion of climbing. <laughs> Does anybody want to become a wizard or can become a wizard? There's a fucking... We have, like, four spell books. I've, got, I've only got a 10 int. Yeah, I've got useless. nine. Our band has got... Nine for me. Let's see. Well, here, I'll just look at the party sheet. Anybody... I mean, you don't have to. I'm just saying it's a... Advantage. So are we okay to level up then? Yep. Oh yeah, nobody can become a wizard. Well, fuck it, we're gonna sell that shit later then. Okay. So, 
Can you use those pages as a scroll? I allow that. Yes, you could tear them out and use them as a scroll. Oh, oh well, there you oh, go. Oh. So that's well, damn. That's a whole different thing then. Yeah, let's hang on to those. All right, I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna take a level of fighter because fuck it. Are we leveling now? Yeah. Cool. Oh, wait, does Spider have requirements? I don't think it does, does it? I better look up multi-glassing. Hold on. All right. Yeah, I really haven't done too much of that. Reference manual, multi... I know you have to... If you multi-class, you gotta meet... You gotta make sure you don't fuck up. Okay. Spider. Strength 13 or Dex 13? Oh, I got a Dex of 14. Okay, I'm gonna do a Fighter. Now, what fighter multi what fighter archetype? Leveling my character. You guys are fucking what's this guy? 